now we look ahead to Super Bowl 50. Now we look ahead to Super Bowl 59. Yes, the lines are out for Super Bowl 59. All right. 49ers are the favorite at plus 500. I would not do that. Kansas City <laughs> Chiefs at plus 650. I would take that. I'm but interested in, in, in the Bears. I need to see what they do with this number one overall pick. The Odds Couple with Rob Fisher, Lang Whitaker, John Roser, and CJ Hurt live Thursdays at 2 p.m. on YouTube at Grind City Media and the official Grind City Media app. Today, we have two very special guests on our program, introducing Lem hey. and Lime Hello. for Starry Lemon Lime Soda. Thanks for having us. What is Starry Lemon Lime Soda? It's a crisp, clear burst of lemon-lime flavor, and it's caffeine-free. Between us, one of you must be a little more important to Starry than the other. Who is it? We're both important. So we could just as easily be Starry Lime Lemon Soda. No, that doesn't sound right. Ooh, I like it. So you saying hip-hop could be hop-hip. Works for me. Starry Lemon Lime Soda. Starry hits different. I'm 10 feet ahead of you, catch me, it's something you'll never do I turn around and I level you, no motivation is needed Look, I put myself on the pedals, well, this is incredible Take your fandom to the next level with the official Grizzlies app Go all access and behind the scenes It's got to be heavy defense, that's where it starts for us Personalized to where you are and who you are Get easy access to ticketing, the game day guide And your own app customization right at your fingertips Upgrade your experience and download the Grizzlies app today why does nobody want to talk about my new hair? The amount of times I have trimmed, shaved, lined up, and cut completely off my hair with no fanfare, it's different. no reaction. It's, it's, it's different. Hair. It's Jessica, it's different. Hair. You don't have any. That doesn't count. Tune in to the Jessica Benson Show with CJ Hurt live every weekday at 8 a.m. on YouTube at Grind City Media and the official Grind City Media app. Let's face it, there's a lot of trash talk in basketball, but the great teams let their performance do the talking. Like Ford F-150 with Pro Power On Board, a class-exclusive industry-first feature that turns your truck into a mobile generator and leaves the competition speechless. Ford F-150, official truck of the Grizzlies. Greatness starts here at your Mid-South Ford dealer. Classes full-size pickups under 8,500 pounds, GBWR. Electric, rowdy, intense. They bring the same mentality that they bring anywhere into the building. If they were mad about something, they're bringing it in. If they were happy about something, they're bringing it in. So we need all that energy times a thousand. Grizzlies fans know it's the team that gives you the edge. Big River Steel does too. That's why we're looking for team members to help us reshape the steel industry for a more sustainable tomorrow. Our edge starts with you at www.bigriversteel.com backslash join to join our dash team. That's www.bigriversteel.com backslash join to join our dash team. Justin Timberlake. I'm sexy back. The Forget Tomorrow World Tour. I can't stop Live in Memphis, Justin Timberlake. FedEx Forum, Saturday, November 23rd. Get tickets this Thursday at 10 a.m. at LiveNation.com. The brand new single, Selfish, is available to stream and download now. For more, hit up JustinTimberlake.com. It's more fun to be there live to see the Memphis Grizzlies hit the court all season long. From the electricity and FedEx Forum to the highlight reel plays, there's nothing quite like Grizzlies basketball. As the official marketplace of the Memphis Grizzlies, Ticketmaster gets you in with a huge selection of seats. So get off the couch and into the stands while you still can. Score tickets today at Ticketmaster.com. That's Ticketmaster.com. 
Live from downtown Memphis, this is The Chris Vernon Show, presented by Caesar Sportsbook on YouTube at Grind City Media and the official Grind City Media app. Now, here's your host, Chris Vernon. GrindCityMedia.com. It's Chris Vernon. Show! Welcome, 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 welcome. It's a Thursday, March 14th, 2024 edition of the show. Today on the show, Grizzlies lost last night against the Charlotte Hornets at FedEx Forum in what was a back-to-back. They now have a couple days off before they play in Oklahoma City this weekend and may have some guys back in the lineup. Memphis Tigers get underway in their conference tournament today. All the conference tournaments are going on. We got a lot of news and notes to get through. We'll play fill in the blank sucker. It's nice outside. Smile. Let's do it. Turn it up. Everybody's having a good day. All right, we got a bunch of stuff to get to. The Grizzlies were in action last night at FedEx Forum as they play against the Charlotte Hornets. They lost, uh, but at least we got one of the back to back where they beat the Wizards. Uh, we'll talk about what happened last night at the game, including our old buddies TA and Zebo coaching a celebrity game at halftime of last night's festivities, which was. Uh, Hoops for St. Jude. Of course, we got a game coming up this weekend. Uh, the number one seed in the Western Conference, Oklahoma City Thunder, are going to be here on Saturday. Uh, also, I have a very interesting note to get to uh, by Tom Haberstroh. I am a subscriber to his Substack, and there is some very interesting stuff going on in the NBA as we speak that he has been on top of. Before I get to anything, I welcome John Roser to the show. John Roser, a.k.a. the Cologne Rangers, the Body Free Band, and Cedar Sack, a.k.a. Jenna McMahon, Jenna Bearcat, John Asparagus, Johnny Neckard, John Lance, a.k.a. Yogi Roser. Every day I dress all black for a show 900 racks. Devin Walker is getting his hair did. <laughs> so he's going to be new hair, don't care. He has mentioned on the show no less than 50 times that he needs to get a new haircut. And so I think he... My f- new haircut! He finally found somebody. And this is the difference between uh, Roser and I and Dev. It's like when we go get our haircuts, it's a 15-minute process. Devin had a 9.30 a.m. <laughs> hair appointment. <laughs> and... My yeah, my wife doesn't even take that long. Yeah. What did he get? We get a perm? It better look awesome. <laughs> it better look awesome. Better oh, he's si- you think he's sitting under one of those like Martian looking things? <laughs> yeah. Is yeah. that what those are? It's a, that's a dryer? Yeah. Oh, and then no. Kessera Johnson's here. She is Brampton's finest. She's the Nordstrom Rack Trap Queen. She is Puerto Rico's favorite reporter. She's a ketchup chip connoisseur. Librarian Yeti! Turn up. And uh, uh, what librarian do you know wears a Chris Vernon Show shirt? A goaded librarian. A goaded librarian. In fact, we need to 
dole those out to librarians all over the city. Yeah, we, <laughs> that'd be sick, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a new, you know, people are always giving their, their, their free gear to the famous people and influencers and things. No. Forget that. We're going to start with the librarians. Yeah. Yep. They deserve free gear. Because the kids are there. That's our demo anyway. Exactly. Right? They're the only one that gets uh, the silliness. Uh, so anyways, last night at FedEx Forum, the Grizzlies lost to the Hornets. And it was one of those, how many times have we talked about, okay, And in many cases, the answer has been Jaron Jackson Jr., fortunately, many times on the road, unfortunately. (laughs) Uh, But, like, who's got the best guy? And there was no question. Miles Bridges was the best player in that game Mm -hmm. by a pretty wide margin last night. And he will forever – no one's ever going to be able to, like, talk about or think about Miles Bridges non-awkwardly, given, you know, his – year-long suspension and coming back and it's like it's just always in the back of everybody's head that's just Mm -hmm. the way it goes um but man he is a fantastic basketball player there's no way around that he and he was by far the best player on that floor last night um there are many times i it you know the crazy thing about what's taken place over the course of the last two nights is i met or saw so many people these last two nights that I do not normally see at Grizzlies games. That What I did not fully realize was the amount of parents, families, and kids that would be at these games over the course of the last two days. And because there are so Tickets many, are cheap. well, it's spring break. Oh, I didn't so, think about right? that. Right, and, and, and one of the things I was explaining to one of my buddies last night was, you know, a typical week, just in my life, it, you know, uh, they've got stuff. Like, yeah. uh, the school's done in the afternoon, and then they've got stuff after school, and then there's, we got to go to a soccer game, we got to go to a basketball practice, and we got to go to this, and we got to go to that, and there's, there's something going on, right? And so it makes it kind of difficult to go to it. So none of that's going on, right? All the extracurricular stuff, mm-hmm. they're typically going on. And the other thing is, a lot of times it can be late night, and so you don't see as many on weekday games. And so, man, I saw so many people the last two nights, and there were so many people that I saw, especially like coming by the pregame, saying it's my first game all year. Aww. Or there's people I saw at the postgame saying, hey, I haven't been to a game this year, but I came to this one. And a lot of it, I think, there were people uh, that I met from, uh, that I saw that I had not seen in a long time that came from out of town. People from Nashville came up. People from Arkansas came up. And so it was weird. It was a different crowd these last couple of nights. And I think as a function of spring break going on, that there were a lot of people that not necessarily are always at games at these games. So that was fun. That made the last two nights fun of seeing a lot of people there and seeing a lot of people with their families getting to go to these games. Last night's game, you know, they, they got down 12 early. It was like your typical back-to-back, not a lot of juice. And then Taylor said it, like we came out with Just like half speed. Back. Yes, mm-hmm. you know, slogging. And then the final margin of the game was 12 so it was like, and they kept getting within six or seven oh my and God. Then they, they just they could not get over that five no. point no. hump they got to five and then it was like a three on the other end they got it back to five they got a three and a foul the other end i was like oh my god well, and every time they got it and went on a run and got the crowd into it clifford took a timeout and they came out and they scored out of the timeout yeah. every time that guy is a good basketball coach he is <laughs> like and the weird thing that stuck out in my mind after watching that game last night was we went to the post game show and I said, you know, we had two nights in a row against peers, like the lottery teams, teams that are non playoff teams this year, Mm -hmm. but they could not be more radically different. That team last night is not far. They are not far. Like you get LaMelo back in that lineup. You get Mark Williams back in that lineup they got Brandon Miller. They got Grant Williams. They got, uh, oh, who was the other? Obviously, Bridges, who was their best player last night. I'm like. Seth Curry. Yo, they could throw together, like, a real team yeah. really fast. Yeah. Like, if they're a playoff team and in the mix and have, like, a huge win leap next year, it would not surprise me. No. Whereas the team we saw the night before is so far away. <laughs> yes. Like, that team has, like, seriously six, five or six of your top eight. 
and then you can augment that, right? You come back into next year, and if you get Mark Williams, and you get Miles Bridges, and you got Brandon Miller, and you got LaMelo, and you get you another, uh, you know, perimeter guy, and then you got Grant Williams coming off your bench, and you get you a couple other bench guys, like, you could be eight, nine deep with good players really, really quickly. And obviously their season went the hell this year, but they are, if I'm a Charlotte fan, I've got a lot of promise going into even next year. Yeah. I could foresee a circumstance where they have a massive win leap right. next year. There will be no massive win leap for Washington. No, they're I look at there and I go, bro, you need eight yeah. no, of no, eight. No, Washington's. That was tough. That's a mess. That's like, you okay, because Tyus is gone. Like, I don't even want Kuzma and Poole. I really don't. I know people want Kuzma, but, like, fine. I like Kuzma. That's fine. He could be my starting small forward. But my, my, the you rest need some of my, people who can defend around Kuz, though. The other thing is the other four guys have to be awesome. Mm -hmm. He's going to be, like, my third option. He cannot be one of my top two options. No. And Poole, he's already coming off the bench for the worst team in the world. I don't know. Like, it, his career might be ruined. Like, for real. Kuz? No, Poole. Oh, he, oh my unless God. He's coming changes, off the bench for the worst team in the world. Unless he changes his You're far away, attitude, bro. how you play. And, that's, and, and, like, and, you know, and that's one of the things. One of the things that everybody said to me was like, hey, let me know what you think about Koulibaly. How can I tell? They're going to ruin that kid. Like, I don't know if the kid could end up being okay, but he's learning everything wrong. Yeah. Everything about his rookie year is wrong. Isn't it kind of sad how that, like, you're, you, that can change your career? It ruins you. Like, I, if he oh, was wait, just on a dude, team with a bunch of vets who are good. I, how many times? Look, I've, I've used this analogy 100,000 times. There are, I, if you look at it, through the prism of basketball teams being schools and I take two kids and I put one of them in a horrible school and I put one of them in a great school, the chances of you maximizing whatever that kid is, is going to take place in that great school. Mm -hmm. And the only ones that are going to be able to go to that terrible school and still come out, they're going to have to be so extraordinary that they could come out of it without it having some kind of, Lifelong damaging impact, truly. So, yes, you can find the Devin Bookers of the world that lived through these miserable tank. Like, and the point is that Devin Booker was probably going to be Devin Booker no matter what. It didn't matter what kind of school. Yeah. I, he is exceptional. You could have put him in it. But it is only the exceptional that will be able to survive that. The other ones are going to be crushed. Mm -hmm. And look. For every Devin Booker, there's the other 10 guys Phoenix drafted. <laughs> it might have been different. There's no question it would have been different for Josh Jackson because he was an immature guy yeah. and ruined him forever. Now, maybe there's a possibility, certainly, that you could go to a great situation and it would, you still, you, you just weren't going to be exceptional, right? But if you put them in, that situation, they've got their best opportunity to develop and be exceptional. And there are certainly teams throughout the league, and I'm proud that the Grizzlies have become one of those that's looked at, that there are, there, it, look, there are a lot of teams that when it comes draft time are going to try to steer their guy away from situations. They are going to try to steer their guys away from situations because they think it's going to be terrible for that player's development. And... I have been here long enough to remember that that was the case here. I saw Dwayne, you know, their famous Dwayne Wade workout, tanked a workout here. Paul George, tanked a workout here. James Harden, tanked a workout here. Steph Curry wouldn't even come and work out here. Yeah. <laughs> Hashim Thabit didn't even come and work out here. Jaron didn't either. OJ Mayo didn't come and work out here. They went to Chicago. Yeah. Well, we to see to. him. Jaron didn't work out here. Jaron didn't work out. I mean, there was all kinds of guys over the years that did not even because they didn't want to be there. And now you look at it, and if you're a young player, you want to be there, and that is the evolution of an organization, right, and building something that 
guys want to be a part of. And the the original point was, like, I go and see this Belil Koulibaly. Like, he may have all kinds of raw talent that needs to be tapped into, and maybe he could develop into something special. But I fear you're not going to know because I watched him the other night, and it's just a lost guy on – a team that's not even playing basketball. Yeah. Like, you might as well just be playing pickup. Seriously. If I would, if you just took those five guys and said, hey, we're going to go to lifetime fitness, they would not have run an offense any differently. <laughs> it's that bad. And you saw with, with the Wizard, you saw with Jordan Poole, you, you saw some of this last year. There were the, there's the one, pl- one, there's Draymond punching him in the face, and then literally, like, you see after the season, Curry and Clay are playing in that the match thing at the win, and it's right before free agency, and Draymond's out there with them. You knew n- not both of those guys That's were coming right. back. That's Clay and Curry putting their flag in the ground for we want Draymond here. The other one is there were several plays during last season with the Warriors. There's a couple where you fight. Curry is clapping at Jordan That's Poole right. for the ball, and Poole is like 33 feet. No, Poole, he wanted his own team. He, he's, yeah, I mean, like, he hasn't said those exact like, words, but that's that what he wanted. That kind of stuff is... You know, he went from. Uh, well, it's like all those guys. Like, it's so th- here's the thing. It's like, were all those guys destined to be what they've become? Did you? I always wonder this. And, you know, you wonder it also. Look, for many, many years, you wonder if that was the Grizzlies case. Well, you know, maybe it would have all been different for different individuals if they had not been drafted here. I'd like to believe that you get your best opportunity to succeed getting drafted here now. But that was not the case. And you went through about 10 years, and when the team was good, and it might not have been the best development situation. Because at that time, you know, the leagues changed greatly. Lionel didn't want to play young guys, no. and Jaeger didn't want to play young guys. And it was not, you know, and, and they were going to do what they wanted to do. And if the front office asked them to do this or told them to do this, they'd just tell them to F off. Mm-hmm. I, you hired me to be the coach. Let me coach a team. Shut up. Leave me alone. Right? And that's just not the way any mm-hmm. of these organizations work now because there's money invested and you do want to get the requisite value out of those guys. But I say that to say Cody Kispert and, uh, you know, Denny Adia and – Johnny Davis. Like, are they all bummed? Did you just did they miss on everybody, or is that situation horrible? Right? Right. That's what you wonder, yeah, right? Or, yeah, is it chicken or the egg? Or maybe it's both. A little bit but of But we maybe. always say that all these bad organizations just always miss on draft picks. But then we always say on the other hand, we go, well, look at how many. There was that whole run where Indiana never had a lottery pick, and yet they had Paul George, and they yeah. had Roy Hibbert, and they had Lance Stevenson. They had, like, all these guys that, like, developed into something. So is it – right? Mm-hmm. Are they just great at drafting, or are they actually great at developing what they did draft? And are these players really bums, or yeah. – did they just get drafted to the so worst spot ever, right? That I, I was, it's Bennett, so hard to know. Bennett and I talked about this exact thing on the postgame show last night because we went back to the Wizards game, and I said, Cor- I brought up Corey Kispert and Abdia, and I was like, what well, Kispert was, let me see. He was 8 of 12, 5 of 7 from 3. I'm like, okay, that's great, but you're doing it on literally a rat team. Are you a solid player to where on a good team – Maybe you are a seventh, Maybe eighth guy off the seventh, eighth man, and you could come in and score and knock down open shots. Or are you a ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth man right. on a good team? You don't like, know. That's what you don't know. Well, I yeah. will say this too, and the other thing is because they don't play real basketball, right. and that's what I'm saying. I'm juxtaposing what we saw in two nights of rat teams. They could not be radically more different. Like they are only, you know, they're probably within five or six wins of each other this year. They both had horrendous seasons. But one of those teams was, like, actually coached. Yeah. And, like, act, like I think it's great for Brandon Miller's development. Yeah. People can resent Steve Clifford, they're... and he may not be the best in the world, but they're playing, like, they're actually playing real basketball. They're only five games. Yeah, like, five games. It's night and day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, the future prognosis and even the current product is radically different. It's... 50 games different. And yet, I know the results are only five games different. Like, when you see the quality of player and even the fact that, like, I don't, 
it is kind of appalling that they've lost as many as they have. Yeah. But they don't have a bunch of horrible players and just do whatever the hell they want. The Wizards, I swear to God, I, do, I still don't know who their coach well, is. So that's, no, who I, is it? Uh, be rude oh, is it, it Wes Hunsell Jr.? No, they fired him. Oh. Yeah, they, no and that's that's what all the also rat organizations do. They don't fire you; they move you to another position. They don't just let you go; they reassign you because they're Brian like, Keefe. "I'm yeah, paying Brian you Keefe. anyway." Brian Keith. Well, Brian Keith does nothing. I don't no. even feel like Washington was trying. Like they didn't no, they were like, not trying. Uh, you know what? Well, uh, it's just like Corey. Was it you that said it? Uh, somebody said it to me yesterday. What? If you would have asked them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I said it too. Can said, we just if, go home? If you ask them yeah, right like, now, like we, you have to forfeit every game, but we're telling you right now, you don't have to play a single game the rest of the season. They would just count as losses, deal. but the season's over. I bet they would I take mean, it. I mean, I don't. Would know, take I honestly it. don't even. It's demoralizing going out and losing that much. I wouldn't blame them if they were like, "Yeah, let's just move on." To but the sure. idea is that you couldn't do something about it. They. You could. What talent do they have? You could try. Bro. So then you try and lose, and it's even worse. Bro, Imagine Chase Edmondson trying, had 24 like, points. <laughs> he did. Career high. Put some respect on him. You know why he did? Because he had 10 points in the first quarter. But you know why else? Because they didn't. He was play. trying. Yeah. He does try. He tries. The Grizzlies had 23 second chance points in that game. Like, they had 50 rebounds. We can't get a rebound against anyone. Like half of Jimison's points were tip ins. <laughs> like, because I mean, he's trying. Yes, yeah, he's jumping. He's like, oh, nobody. Okay, I'll just jump and tip the ball in because nobody else is jumping for the ball. Kispert, you know, it's crazy with it because for that guy to go, when you see the Wizards, how they play, like, they don't play basketball. That dude came from Gonzaga, who plays like the most beautiful basketball you can possibly play in yeah. college. The ball flies around, they move, uh, and then you go to that, and it's like, what in the world? Well, I tell you this. I Many times you have heard me say on the show, and I said to people, even as I told you, there was all kinds of people that were coming up, and they were like, hey, this is the only game I've been to all season. And, I, and, I, and they're like, sorry. I didn't know, you know, obviously – Wow, you guys got a lot of different players, you know, if you haven't kept up with the season. Like, yeah, <laughs> kind of all what the hell. Yo, but imagine not keeping up with the season, coming to a game and be like, we played, do I know anyone hey, on this season? We played three guys last night that at the beginning of the season were contracted players on the roster. Gigi, was, Gigi was two-way and started the season with the hustle for several, several games. Conchar, LaRavia, Canard. You ready for this? Yeah. Oh, God. Fish had this last night, and I was like, no, dude. As of last night, because Scotty Pippen Jr. was back in lineup. Do we hit 40? Who? 40. <laughs> different starting lineups. I was waiting for the day. I didn't know when we were going to get it. 40! We've played 67 games. 40. 40! By the way, we didn't get our little counter. We've, after, we've got six home games left. Oh, yeah. Let's That's right. Six. Are you sure? Five after Magic Saturday. Magic number. I yeah. Seven. Don't do that. Don't. I'm Don't sorry, do that. Guys. Watch your mouth. Oh <laughs> hey, so I always tell people, I say, look, you're going to see something that you've never seen before. That always happens at a game. And Rosa will tell you, he got the loudest, what the hell, out of me last night of the entire season. You ready for this one, Kelsey? The loudest, what the hell. <laughs> Wasn't as loud as PR Laura's. With, during the Tillman <laughs> free throw miss, but look, what the hell? This was my loudest, and it came in the first quarter of last night's game. We do have seven games. Do you left. want to? Do you want to predict what it was? Yeah, there's seven. Um, wow. Tell me, Johnny, fake news. Yeah, don't make me feel. Crazy. What was my loudest? What the hell? Of the season, it took place in the first quarter last night. Of the season. Yeah, where I audibly I said, "What the hell." In a bad way or a good way? I mean, it's a bad way. I don't know. But look, we celebrate everything is, these guys do. I more so laughed at this you know, than oh, did what there. the hell. I laughed. Tell we me. celebrate everything they do. It also gives us license to goof. I want you to watch this shot that took place in last night's game. Please. No, that's not the one. Yeah, that wasn't his the first. The first one. That wasn't his first field. That's his first field goal attempt. Yeah, the first field goal attempt. 
That wasn't that. That was his first. Oh, it film. was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the second one then. I was about to be like, wait, we're talking about that shot. It's not. Beautiful. Yeah, it's probably. Is it the second one? one? It's the second one. Oh, I didn't know he had already shot in the game. <laughs> yeah, because we're I'm totally sorry. paying attention. To I'm sorry, <laughs> dude. All right, Wenyan Gabriel. Uh, no, that, well, that that's actually a tip in. Yeah, that's a so, tip in. God dang it! It's his third shot. This is it. This has got to be. Watch yeah, this. Here we go. Watch this. Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Kelsey, no. when I tell you that missed by 10 feet. Look at how he holds his hand up, too. <laughs> oh, my. It was a pass, probably. He you can't Jake tell. You cannot angle. tell from this angle. Look, sidestep. No, you can. No, you can tell. No, you can tell. From our angle? I'm telling that you, from ball. our angle, that thing missed by 10 feet. It looked like it was going to the other three-point line. To the, to the other corner. And I yelled, what the hell? <laughs> what is this shot? When, yeah. There's four seconds on the shot clock, bro. Uh, that was honestly one of the top five worst jumpers in FedEx Forum history. Oh, my. That is. It is. That's strong. Yeah. That is a strong and I And I have a historical reference point. I've oh. never seen. I mean, it's 10 feet. We bro. need to start marking these it down. It wasn't even close. It was so far away from the backboard or the rim. Impossible. I'm rewatching it now because the feed's delayed. It's impossible. Well, that's what you get for wearing a shooting. I'm sorry. I thought it was his first. He had already taken two field goal attempts before he did that. The, that one doesn't count. The second one doesn't yes, count. Yes, it does. No. It all counts. No. That was outrageous. That's it's just not your game. It's not your game. Oh, he said, it is my game. No, it's I, hate, like, I it really is my hate game. That's why I said, like, what the hell? Good. That's why I said, good. I was like, hold on now. This is some wizard shit. What, yeah. what are we doing? <laughs> Sidestep 28 <laughs> footers from White and Gabriel? Can like, you go hey, sign, we, can, did you go sign with Puerto Rico now? <laughs> yeah. Team there? What are we hey. doing, bro? This is not our, that's not in the offense, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's not uh, in the offense. Sometimes you got to improvise. Let's look at hey, improvise. Now, let me say this Wenyan also. Gabriel. He's, he's 0 for 4. You got to take what the defense gives you. All right. Oh, yeah, just that 1-3. Okay. And Buddy. Well, one, it, one hey, midi. It was the most memorable. Oh, yeah, the, you're talking about the fadeaway mm -hmm. front rimmer. And then two right at the Not his game. <laughs> is, is that, just, this is not, why do you think you have license to do that? Is that worse than the... Uh, like, bro, you can't just sign in for 10 days and then be like, I'm shooting. Is that, I'm, I'm turned into James Harden. Is that, like, worse, you, is that worse than some of the... Uh, stop. The Biombo and Jemison jump hooks? <laughs> Dude, those guys... Wait, you guys, he like, that's, he like broke courtside with that shot. You can't even see it? No, like, you can see it, but everything else is like, okay, for example, like, he missed that jump shot we saw. It says two points, jump shot, fade away, missed. The one at the rim says two points, layup, running alley-oop, missed. The other one says two points, layup, tip, missed. That one says three-point jump shot, pull up, one zero 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 one zero 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 missed. What? Broke the NBA's own little app. Wow. They're like, we don't know what to it, do with that. that was, maybe it's logged as the worst shot in basketball history. <laughs> it might be. One zero 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 zero. Wow. Okay. Well. That's crazy. What the hell? Look, I'm going to tell That's what I said. <laughs> that's what I said. As soon as I, like, we signed these guys to 10 days and they think they can do whatever they want. Aww. Bro, you don't get to do that. Stop. I'm still, we paid to go to the game if I'm a fan, right? It's like somebody's paying money to watch this. You, can you can't do that. Two dollars yesterday. You, I, I don't care how much it costs. That then I want my money back if you do that. You don't get to do that. When no, you, I mean we're still proud of you. No, that was that was. I took it as a personal affront. Like I have to be here, bro. Don't make me do that. Don't make me watch this. That's not your game. That's not your game. <laughs> so look, <laughs> let me say this about uh, one of the other guys. That we did get to see back in the lineup. I'm gonna tell you something. I like Scottie Pippen. I like him more than I thought I was gonna like him. And I actually think I watch Scottie Pippen and I go, that is like a fantastic two way contract. It really is. Because that is, to me, that is the essence of the kind of guy that should be on a two way. Which is, I have him, 
at my disposal for in case of emergency break glass, and now I've got it, but the guy can play. Like, I actually think, and we saw him in that. What, was, a, what, what was the game earlier this year? Miami? I think it was yeah. Miami, right? Yes. Yeah. He was. Bro, he's good. Dude, he looks like he look can. At Devin. Huh? Oh! 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 oh, no, take the head off. What? The Ram Hordes? Oh, oh my God, he got rammed gosh. up. Who is this guy? What? Oh my God! Yo, he got his brain pulled back. Never mind, Deb. I can see how look that takes the, a long look time. At the I can see how that takes a long time. Look at oh my God! He's a new man. Is this the first time you've ever done this? What is this called? What kind of haircut is this called? Two barrels. Two barrels? Barrels, just barrels. I think it's three. Three barrels. Is that your? It's a rap name too. Yeah, that's your new rap name. Three, three barrels, barrels, aka three barrels. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. That shit like pulls on my head so much. Why are you putting much, a hat bro. on? Is it hurt? Yeah, like because it pulls on my hair back. It pulls my hair like together. Of course it hurts. Look how tight that is right now. Yeah, bro. Is it loosen up? Yeah, eventually. When? When your hair a couple days. Bro, your brain is stressed out, Just huh? Pulling. <laughs> It looks good though. It's over here. Look at him. Shout out Marie, bro. With a closer look, bro. You have real, real. You finally good. found one. Yeah, she. Shout you out found a hairdresser. Our guy Miles tapped me in. So shout out, guy Miles tapped me in. We here though, baby. Double shout out, Miles. Look at yeah, it. Yeah, we here, baby. Fresh and we. Yeah. Oh my God! Look at the intricacies. You know what I'm now we understand. We're making fun of you because Rosa and I's hair takes 15 minutes. Yeah, see, that's white people, bro. That, is... that must be nice. Speaking of white people. Oh, speaking of white people. Racism didn't pay for Tony Allen. Oh. I told him last night. Oh my God. I that said, I said, crazy. you look down because you didn't do your research. You look down at this at the <laughs> sheet and you thought, <laughs> I, I'm not kidding you. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to praise myself. I made Tony Allen fall on the ground last night laughing. I said, I bet if her name was Juanita Shields, you would have drafted her. But you saw the name Ashley Shields and thought that was somebody white. And oh now God. look at you. Bro, that team was. Now you, and he said, you said Juanita yeah. Shields. <laughs> and I said, all you did was look at the names and thought, nope, that sounds like a white name. That sounds like a white name. Not drafting them. I don't know but about that. instead, I you took NLE Choppa, who refuses now has less assists in the celebrity basketball game than anyone ever. He yes. has never passed. He has never passed. Yeah, not even assists. He has the he, fewest amount of passes. They scored on mistake yesterday because he missed a shot, and Drummer yeah. Boy just so happened to get the rebound. That was a Chopper, you got to pass the ball. The celebrity God. basketball game that took place at halftime last Dang, night. I didn't get to watch. Zebo's team absolutely dominated <laughs> Tony's team. We warned Tony, bro. We told him, bro, your team is terrible. Okay, so Our this team was trash. I the other uh, team had a WNBA player on it, which Tony could have drafted. <laughs> yeah, he <could've. laughs> By the way, why it does wouldn't have mattered? He had an LA chopper. He wasn't passing to anybody. Bro, he was trying to cross everybody up. I'm like, what is Chopper yeah. doing? How many times did Ken Folk Kia Shine block him? Bro, hey, just walling up in the paint. Bro, Kia Shine is huge. Kia He's Shine a, is a huge. Force in the paint. He is huge. So look, last night I was told that before the game, before the game started. Everybody went down to the practice court. And in fact, I'm leaving the pregame show. I'm walking uh, down through the tunnel, uh, and I'm walking on a staircase. And all, and I got, I kind of like got my head down and bebopping along. All of a sudden, I hear, CV! The only person in the world that calls me this and has for 20 years is Zach Randolph. <laughs> and so I'm like, Zebo, And he comes up, he wants to talk to me about something else. But I said, no, 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 hold on. Before we get to talking, why is there a picture of Money Bag Yo and Denzel Washington, which was broached with Jessica Benson on the show yesterday? I said, I will see Zebo tonight. I will ask him, why is there a picture of Denzel Washington and Money Bag Yo? And he's like, oh, oh, yeah, oh, oh. You know, you yeah, know, Zebo. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, 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 yeah. oh. Chris. We making moves, bro. He acted. He acted, bro. He act I said, hold on. Money back, yo, is going <laughs> to act with Denzel Washington. He's like, I'm telling you, go. We, we doing big stuff. We doing big stuff, Chris. He acted. Endless entertainment, baby. 
what is going on? You say you had the glasses on, bro. That, you know you you doing something big when you put the glasses on. Moneybag Yo and Denzel Washington. I'm like, okay. So then I said, your team's going to kill Tony. He's like, man, I already told him. So they're walking up to the practice court. I am told they get into the practice court. All of Zach's team is, like, meandering around, like, kind of just messing around, whatever. Yeah. Uh, Zach's, like, looking at his phone, screwing around, whatever. Right? Cause this is just where they have to meet up, right? Tony is running drills <laughs> with scared. his team. He's scared. He was worried. Tony was running drills with his team. Drills. <laughs> <laughs> so Wait, he, what kind of drill? Like three-man weave? Defensive slide. Defensive slide. Yes. They're, they're trying, trying to set up the defense. This is what we're going to do on defense. This is what we're going to do on offense. And so anyways, he <laughs> texted me last night. I went to go see one of my friends in the audience. So he's like, you got to come back to that suite and find me. And I told him, I said, bro, I tried to tell you, your team, big trash. <laughs> They were big trash. We done with the celebrities. So and <laughs> his wife, Desi's like, he tried to tell you, Tony. And he's like, man, he did try to tell me my team was dirty. <laughs> <laughs> so, so then he grabs it. Now we're going to fix things that have happened on the show. He grabs, uh, he grabs his kids, and they come up. And... First one, the littlest one comes up, and he's like, "Who's your favorite player?" And he's like, "Oh, Shea Gilly." Uh, he names like four guys, and he's like, "And uh, and my dad, <laughs> right?" And yeah. he's like, "I was like, all right, he got the dad in there." So then he grabs Andre Fresh. He's like, "Fresh, come here." He's like, "Who's your favorite player?" He's like, "I like." I like uh, Shea Gilgis. They love Shea Gilgis. Yeah. Told you, bro. He's a swaggy, yep. swaggy, swaggy, bro. And he's, he's like, cool. he said Kevin Durant. Okay. He said, uh, he names like five or six. And then he's like, and also my dad. And also my dad. And yeah. also, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. that means and that Tony told him. He finally got, make sure he you got say, in on the list. <laughs> yes. He's, he tra- he's trained him. Unprompted, he did get on the list. And I asked the littlest one, I said, what number did your dad wear? And he oh, said, not the quiz. nine? Yep. He did wear nine. So he did. He uh, he's, at least, okay. he's at least got them brainwashed to where they will include him yeah. in that. Yeah. But I'm very surprised. His kids love Shea Gilgis. He's coming on Saturday. I'll tell you, bro. Right? The, the swag, bro. Yeah, I didn't realize. He got, he got the kids, juice. Ki- the kids are getting into him. He got the juice, bro. He's cool. He just is cool. He's, just, He's cool, just cool, right? Swaggy. Did you know him from the Canada stuff? No, he was too young. I, knew, I was telling Devin, I knew his cousin, and Nikhil, because Nikhil's older. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's young. How from old? all accounts, he's nice. He's 24, 23? Yeah. Shay's 23? No. Shay's young. Shay's... He's, cool. he's been in the league five years. 25. He's 25. Yeah, five or six, right? But I think, is, it, like, is this year six, five? Uh, for him? This is year five for him. Let this is his fifth year in the NBA? Check. One, two, two three, four, five, six. Year six. Year six. Yeah. Oh, 18. So he's the Jaren draft. Yeah, he's Jaren draft. Okay. So Got it by Clippers. I think what he, a pick that was. If, That's so crazy. And you, they took two. And it was Jerome Robinson and Shea Gildas Alexander. And Jerome Robinson would never even, like, yeah, heard so- from. At all. He's in the G League. And Shea Gilgis just what, – what, what were those for? Do you know that's – you always go back and look at these picks. You remember they traded for the two picks? The Clippers They did. only had one of the picks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where did that – Where, the other where well, did like, that come the from? That, Charlotte. It was Charlotte? Charlotte, yeah. What did they trade? They, I don't know what they traded exactly, but they picked Miles Bridges afterwards in that trade. With, for They swapped those two players. Yeah, SGA and uh, Miles Bridges. Well, that's actually not that. I mean, it's it's terrible. By the way, he's given what to, he's yeah. good, bro. He's put on a lot of weight too. He's, you see how big he is? You, Miles Bridges, ain't always been Bridges. that big. So here's the thing: watching him last night, he is one of these weird, <coughs> like. There's some guys in the NBA that the NBA's gone, like not their way, and some that it's gone their way. And I look at Miles Bridges, and I look at it, and I go. Boy, the NBA has gone your way. He is a matchup problem because he is so damn athletic 
that big guys have an issue with him. He's quick, but he is so strong. As you mentioned, yeah, he's put on like he's weight, so bro. strong that you're like other wings have a problem with his strength. Yeah. Like, because he can do kind of all the stuff. He can do both. He's 6'7", it's like 6'7", 225. He's more, 225. he's more than 225 now. I agree. They say this is his list of what, yeah, he's yeah, at I least 240 now. He's a big dude, man. Yep. Big, oh, solid sp- Oh, dude. speaking of big dudes, while I'm thinking about it, uh, what is the name? Uh, let me find, I'm going to find you this guy's name. Maybe they can find it. I saw it on... Uh, I, th- I think it was Instagram uh, this morning. You could probably look the guy up. If I, I'm hoping I can find this. I forgot about this. Uh, have you seen this guy that they are saying he he said he's modeled his game after Zebo? Oh yeah, the kid from uh, not what? it's not Nebraska, is it? What school is it? I think it's Nebraska. Let me double check. Somebody sent it to me this morning. You saw it this morning? Yeah, somebody sent it to me this morning. Let me see. Okay, uh, I saw it as well. He's from NC State. NC, NC State. State. DJ right. Burns. DJ Burns is his name. I got it. DJ Burns. I watched a lot of Hakeem Olajuwon growing up. I just happened to end up with a Zach Randolph build. <laughs> and they've got this. It's N- NC State, and then they've got sales. See if you guys can find DJ Burns. 275-pound center with finesse. Bro, he hoops just like Zebo. Dude, he's bigger than Zebo though. Zebo was not this big. <laughs> this guy is massive. This guy is massive. DJ Burns. Look up his highlight. Y'all got it. I'm pretty sure people have been passing around the tape. DJ Burns? Yeah, people have been passing it around. Yeah, because he's uh, he is very Zebo esque You just don't see a lot of guys look that look like this guy. Look at that pass. And <laughs> outlet. Give me he some actually DJ had a pretty good season. 12 and a half points. Oh, he's Left block. Rebounds. Turn he's four. Turn four. Yeah, oh, my. Oh, my God. Oh, oh little oh, dime. Oh, little dime. Dime. Is this guy our new favorite? Okay, give DJ it to him. DJ Burns. Okay. Ooh. Look at DJ Burns. Oh, oh, my God. Mark Gasol. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Find the cutter. Turn up, DJ Burns. He's like Kenny if he passed the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, my bad. Nine. He does. Look he looks like Z-Ball a little bit, too. He really does. That's why people are comparing it. Give me some oh, turn man. four highlights. Give me some some in the post highlights. Oh, oh, oh scrapping oh, on defense. Oh, oh. Yeah. Okay, DJ. I think we might have to love DJ Burns Jr. And Please. then who was it that, that that was that was one of the most interesting things I saw this morning? And the other one was the uh, was it Stephen F. Austin with the walk off last night? Yeah, the shot to win. Yeah. I think it was. The I mean, crazy man, finish. God, I love conference tournaments. <laughs> I love conference tournaments. Stephen F. Austin had a walk off uh, in their game. Last night, but I mean, as these conference tournaments go on, especially with these like smaller conference tournaments, look at that, look at that post. I want to see the post oh work. My, look oh at my that. god, yeah. little boy, this is Zebo. Really Zebo, lefty? Yep. lefty like Zebo, DJ Burns, and he's look super, at DJ Burns Jr. though, super Let dark skin like Zebo. Look, look at him, get off me, turn four, too little. Oh, oh where you going? Oh my god, okay, finesse. Yeah, Zebo's got to be in love Rose with this guy. You guys show, you guys show Zebo these highlights. I know. Turn four. Where you at? Oh, too little. Uh, get off me. Baby food. Uh, and one. Oh, my God. Yeah, I love him. DJ Burns. He's from South Carolina, too, by the way. DJ Burns Jr.? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's hilarious. I love getting to find out about all these guys because as the conference tournaments go on, then everybody starts paying attention, then everybody starts passing around <laughs> the highlights, yep. and then you start to uh, know about all of these different teams. Um, Memphis's conference tournament, they're – Chance at winning four and four begins today. Wait, they play today. One thirty, bro. One thirty. They put Wichita. It won't be until two. Yeah. Right. It won't be until two o'clock. I don't think. But they. Yes, they play against. I'm, I'm going to Wichita. A seven nation army couldn't hold me back. I tell you this. That was the most. Uh, Okay. Encouraged, I felt about them the entire year was their game against Wichita. Yeah. Where they destroyed them. Earlier this year, so and then really, one, dude, it one, literally all went to hell after we played Richard. Yeah, yes, it, it did. did. It went to hell. Huh? This is game one of four. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's what I was asking. I'm yeah. Adjourning. So right now, uh, Memphis is playing Wichita this afternoon. They are projected to win on Ken Palm, eighty to seventy-three. That is Ooh. not as much as you would hope, no. considering eighty to seventy. They beat yeah. them at Wichita. 112 to 86. But then we played them here and beat them 65 63. Should have lost that game. Should have lost that game. They were up like 15 with like seven minutes left. Danger game? 
Yeah, Danger true. get here? No, it's, it's neutral court, bro. We're good. We tapping that ass. Belts to ass Sorry? tour Sorry? begins today. Sorry? Bro, we beat him by two here. Belts so you're saying neutral is a better? <laughs> Belts to ass conference tour begins today. Oh. I'm telling you. Belts to ass. Belts to ass. He looks so much different, doesn't he? I know. <laughs> Like, is he trying to look intimidating or I something? Do, uh, He's trying to look intimidating, Bro, I'm man. trying to tell you, my hair is pulling. It's like pulling my hair Your back. brains. Yeah. I'm telling Your you, brains I'm, are getting I, yanked I, I say by the end of this road trip, my hair will be back. It'll be down. Why? It's you can't take it. I'm telling you, it's pulling. You already can't take it's it. It's not your pulling. thing. Pulling. Yanking on my hair. How much does that cost? That's what I was about to uh, ask. 125-ish. That's nothing. That's not, that's not bad. Because she washes it, conditions it, then twists it. He, he went under the dryer. One of the dryer. That, you the, sat with the, the spaceship thing? Yeah. This dryer, bro. You had to sit in we there? We had yeah. no idea. It's a Chris, dryer. And, Chris and I had no idea that that's what that was. It's a dryer. Did we you, just see like old ladies sit in it. Did you sit around, <laughs> like, did you sit around talking or did you did you just get on your phone like a hermit? No, I talked to, I talked to people. Oh, you did? Yeah. You, I, I think, bro, the, the barbershop experience is probably that's one of the most. That's not a barbershop. Stop. It was a barbershop. No, it's not. Barbershops do not have the hair dryer thing, do yes, they? Yes, they do. <laughs> no, they don't. Okay. No, they don't. Y'all, y'all live in a different world than what I do. What barbershop? Yes, they do. I've seen the movie. There's yeah. no <laughs> hair dryers there. I saw one and two. I saw barbershop one and two. I saw so, no hair dryers there. You did not have a hair dryer. Yeah, my guy. I've seen the movie. It's crazy. I saw the movie. Yeah, there Rick, ain't no hair dryer yeah, in there. Ricky Where was the, the hair dryer? entertainer? There Ricky is a hair dryer in there. I saw one and two. In the in my typical, in typical, in black, in typical black barbershops, any barbershops, we have you have to have a hair dryer because in case you have to, there's at least one loxetician in there to lock up, so you gotta have a hair dryer. Even the competition that was opening across the street, Nappy Cuts, didn't have the Nappy hair Cuts dryer. is a sick, name. it's a sick name That's for a haircut. That's the name of for it. barbershop. <laughs> Bar come on, Did barbershop you? two, come on. Yeah, she never. You seen get you. you do get good naps on those things though. Like if you you ever been under one. You should go into one, bro. For what? Just for the hell of it. Color? Like why I yeah, why, get would, some I color. Go, why get some would I color. go under that? Get some get, color get in your hair. Highlights. You want me to get highlights? Yeah, yeah. a little blonde. But no, like you... you the real you, I did shady. have blonde hair one time. See? When, but Emin, I did it, when Eminem was popular? Yeah, I, no, it was at, <laughs> I did it from... Uh, uh, but I got it... Uh, I bought it at Walmart. You bought you the blonde? Yourself? Yeah, I did it. Yeah, It was during the summer one time. I was like, you know what? I want to see what I look like with By blonde hair. By one time? Hair. And I did like, it. Like, recently? Or like... No. It was like the time when Jaren did a blonde hair. I was probably like 23. Oh. Something like that. No, you should You should look. That was probably when Eminem was popular. <laughs> you should go. Because you, like, you sit under there, bro, and it just... It's hot air just blowing on your head. It gets real hot. And you just put your head back and just go to sleep. It's a great feeling. But why do I need... I don't. I just want you to experience it. You, you want me to have hot air got, blowing? I in still my head? want y'all to experience the black barbershop experience. We still have to make that happen. Now, I need you to. I need is this going to be? A, is this going to be a hard conversation for you to have when I ask you why you did not go to the family-owned barbershop oh, uh, yeah, that a lot. you guys have? Oh, it's a lot going on with that. <laughs> Some drama, bro. Oh, yeah, it's a little drama. I can't talk about it on this microphone. <laughs> Some you're you're not going to that barbershop anymore. Yeah, my Your dad. My dad literally probably, owns a barbershop. My dad's probably listening to this right now, and my dad's probably like, "Dad, I'm not gonna tell the story, but yeah, it's a little drama." Off air, do we get to know it? A little, a little family drama going on. So you can no longer go to the family barbershop. I can go see my grandma. <laughs> yeah, that's the only reason. Wow. I can go see Granny. Hi, Granny. That's tough. But the rest of it, it's, it's a, it got a little convoluted. You're not going. You yeah. had to really... that Because, you know, it, when you said I grew that, up in a barbershop. I know. And when you said that this morning, and you have been saying 50 times on the show, I need somebody that can do my hair. Yeah. Finally, this morning, it dawned on me, bro, his <laughs> family owns a barbershop. He should not have a problem getting an appointment or going. Yeah. Like, that is one thing that you have... Easy access to, that's but you. now you're not even going to the family. It's hard. That's what. That's the reason why I grew my wow. hair out in the beginning, that's because crazy. of that. It's, it's it's tough out here, man. But no, you have to find a non-family <laughs> affiliated. I have. Now I gotta. <laughs> now I'm having to talk to people I, I don't go, know. I can't go there. Yeah, no I can't. I, can, I go. I was going to see my grandmama. That's tough. I go see my my people, but other than that, you know, shout out to my family. Amanda's beauty and barber. <laughs> 
Shout out. <laughs> I don't go, but you should. <laughs> shout out. Shout out to Amanda's Beauty and Barber, my family barbershop. <laughs> but no, nah, shout out. I, I, like I said, my, my, when I pull my hair down, it's going to be crazy. It's gonna be what like, is it going to look like? It's going to be longer than it was before. It's going to be like long. How long do you think it'll take before you pull down your hair? I say about How a week. long are you going to keep it up like that? Probably about a week. Oh, you think you'll keep You think Saturday night for the Oklahoma City game, it will still be like it'll that? It'll still be like this. Oh. Just so I, Actually, I've already gotten an email from somebody in the office saying, hey, I love your hair. <laughs> Guess what? Hey, Renee. Oh, they, they tweeted it out. Oh, they did? Yeah, there's yeah, a tweet your, that says your Devin. arrival, your entrance. Oh, no. Devin will it be better than The Rock's entrance? Bah, bah, bah. I don't oh, no, think it will. Yeah. I don't think it will. Can I you, wait, can you, grow, I can you throw it out like Jared Allen? See, this way. No, no, bro. You can't? You well, mean I, like Zaire Williams. Or Zaire Williams. Yeah. Yeah, it takes like washing and conditioning. Because he has a great. Because my hair is like dreaded. So I would have to like wash it and condition it. No, he doesn't mean like. Right now. Yeah, I don't mean like, yeah. I mean, like, can I do it to my hair? Yeah, can you, whenever could you, you have get a that fro. undone, could you have a fro? Yeah, I could. Why you don't do that? Is no, what the hell? This is not the 1970s, bro. Awesome, bro. Kobe, dude, you would probably be, you're you already amazing at your job. You would go to another level. But look at what happened to Kobe White when he went back to it. Yeah. To, to the afro? I mean, it's, That's right. Look at what happened with Kobe That's White. That's right. There's some guys that like and, and uh, like their their powers go away. Kobe White had beautiful. And then they girls. and then they get. But now I resent the hell out of Kobe White. Well, wow, he got hurt yesterday. No, because he you he did. He got hurt yesterday. Yeah. Bro, oh, Demar yeah. Derozan was well, freaking awesome hey, last no night. Call. No, I should, no call. I should, yeah. I, oh, I shouldn't have said it. it no. But on Kobe White's thing, every time he was here, it's a one time that I've noticed throughout uh, you know uh, this year, the hair he uses it to his advantage. He does. Yeah, he the, does. Yeah. Oh, he does Kobe the does? neck crack thing so, so it, that his hair flies <laughs> so it's like you hit him. We won two challenges with him doing that. And I'm like, this guy's been <laughs> T-Rex stars. This guy's been going to the line all year. This guy's had this unbelievable hey, season. Nobody use. can touch him because he uses the hair and he whips his head so it looks like You got to. You killed him. No, yeah. that drives. I hate that head whip thing. The head whip That's, thing is nasty. Oh God, Harden, are we blaming and Harden? Trey yeah. And then, but now, look. Not only is the head whip, none of it is working anymore. You're gonna trip out when you hear this. All right. So, I uh, I subscribe to the Finder, which is a uh, Tom Haverstrow. Uh, he does one of those sub stacks, and I subscribe to his. How about this? I'm gonna read this to you, and this is gonna blow your mind. The NBA's bizarre free throw drought continues. Is this the NBA's pitch clock? So you might have noticed last night's game super quick, the one before that super quick. Last night, at one point, Eric Hasseltine on the broadcast, what was the guy's name? The, the lumpy guy. Oh, Matt Boland. He goes, Matt Boland is repping this game like he really doesn't want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> he said that. Bro, they weren't calling anything. They weren't uh, calling anything. But here's the thing. <coughs> 77 was wild. Hey, of it's, course, right? Hey, it clapping, it's so. not that they are not calling anything in our arena. They're not calling anything anywhere. Listen to this. Yep. It says, a crazy thing happened on Wednesday night. The Cleveland Cavaliers didn't take a free throw in the first three quarters of their game against the Pelicans. Pardon? Three? Wait. Those Listen. are stopped. Three quarters of basketball, not a single shooting foul whistled by officials against the Pelicans. It marked the first time this season that a team, any team, entered the fourth quarter with zero free throws attempted. About 2,000 NBA games have been played since the last time it happened. A basketball comet streaked across the sky, an event so rare, you might watch an entire season's worth of games and never see it. And then... Three minutes later, another comet zipped across the sky. That's right. It happened again. No way. Over in Memphis. Oh, snap. Just seconds later, the Charlotte Hornets concluded the third quarter of their game with zero free throws to their name. Yep. Attempted? It hadn't happened all season. And then in a span of five minutes, it happened twice. Last night. The Hornets attempted zero free throws in the first three quarters of the game. Why did I not We didn't notice? even notice. Yeah, we didn't notice it. That's crazy. So they had 13 free throw attempts in the fourth quarter? Yes. We were just hacking? It may, it, yeah. No way. It never happens. 
and we didn't even notice. Is it because of game? No, no, I'm not kidding you. That game was on an amazing pace until the third and fourth quarters. And do you know what happened in the third and fourth quarters of that game? Free throws and fouls started happening, and the game came to a just grinding halt. All right, listen so to this. So you just want no foul hey, shots right hey, there, ever? Hey, really so the, hey, so the Cavs, hey, so the Cavs beat the Pelicans, right? Good. Last night. That's what it was. The Cavs finished that game with three free throws. The lowest total since 1994. Cleveland star Donovan Mitchell wasn't even alive the last time that happened. <laughs> oh, God. Back in Memphis, Charlotte finished with a parade <laughs> of free throws in the fourth quarter, ending up with 13. Still down from their season average of 18 and a half. Believe it or not, the bizarre free throw droughts didn't end there. In Portland, the Blazers had one free throw in the half. That's the lowest free throw total at halftime for them this whole season. And the season before that. And the season before that. And the season before that. These are the latest entries in the league's bizarre disappearance of free throws. And with it, All that high scoring in the NBA we heard so much about, is there something behind it? And he said, I'm going to propose a new theory. He said, two weeks ago, I wrote a column that said NBA scoring was crashing. The floor keeps lowering. Since then, we've had four teams score in the 70s in a full game. There was only one sub-80 performance last season. Of the season, I'm sorry, until last week. The ceiling is sliding, too. 18 teams played last night. Mm -hmm. None scored 120. Wow. In regulation. Here. here, here. Uh, Hold on. On Wednesday, before the All Star break. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going the Wednesday before All Star break. That night, 11 teams scored over 120. Last night, Zero. Wow. They cutting the water off, bro. And then poof, all gone. Oh, poof, all gone. I'm sorry. Poof, all gone. Uh, GMs and coaches told Ethan Strauss in his piece that something was up. He said, I pointed out March 1st. Most of the scoring fall can be attributed to referees swallowing their whistles. We just saw Charlotte, Cleveland, and Portland go the majority of their games without taking a free throw last night. These extremes come one day after the league told Mark Stein that it's all just noise. An NBA spokesperson, when I lodged a formal request for comment, told Mark Stein that there has been no directive from the league office to referees to call games differently. The league's position then is that we have witnessed a statistical anomaly over the past few weeks with a myriad of possible causes. He said a handful of team officials spoke in the last 48 hours. They were not buying it. Everybody says it's an epidemic. Something happened. The numbers don't point to shooters going ice cold or teams all of a sudden having the dribbling yips, nor did the numbers suggest that teams throwing the ball out of bounds like a quarterback avoiding a sack. Instead, the signs all pointed towards officials swallowing the whistle. And then he does a whole chart. And he talks about how NBA shooting fouls are plummeting right now. Here's this last night. Mm. The first half of our game with the Hornets. 46 minutes. Two combined free throws, seven combined fouls. Second half, an hour and three minutes. 22 free throws, 23 combined fouls. Yeah, but the fourth quarter gets like that. We were close. It was a four point. Is the it, third is quarter was longer. Closer the third to the... quarter was longer than any of the other uh, than any of the previous two is quarters. Is it because we're getting close to the playoffs type shit or what? I think there's like like they're like they're really like stop. Just don't freaking call fouls unless they're egregious. And I think they're also like the times. Do you of just the want g- people to die? Here, here's they're not the thing. Die. Yeah, she does. Here's the thing. I think it's twofold. I think it's twofold. <coughs> one one of which is the scoring got like super high. Yeah. But it's not as much the scoring getting super high in these games. What he's proposing as a theory, which I actually can buy, is times of games. Yes. Mm. And oh, that yeah. these are... To make them like... So the lack it's... of whistles has shaved down the game by over two minutes. Yes. On average, right? 
So free throw trips are down. The games should be tighter. It said this bucks the trend of the last two seasons where the games got longer after the All-Star break. He said, here's the sneaky thing about Cleveland having a historically low free throw total on Wednesday. That game was less uh, ended in less than two hours. According to unpredictable tracking, it lasted one hour and 57 minutes, 18 minutes faster than the typical NBA game. Mm. Started at 7.11 p.m., ended at 10.08, or I'm sorry, 9.08 p.m. And that's with the Pelicans taking 26 free throws of their own. There's only so much the league can do to trim down the broadcast, but I can understand why they want the games to be faster and more action-packed. It's, it's like the NBA is almost intentionally or not implementing their own pitch clock. Make the games breezier and fans will stay locked in. I think that's very fascinating. So it's right not too. necessarily an edict of going, hey, this was all cool that we've had 60 and 70 point games and teams are scoring 120. We want the we want more basketball being played, less stoppages of the game, less, less reviews in the game. And so then what ends up happening is you get more basketball, but you're getting less whistles, and the games are ending faster. I like that because people do people too. don't people don't pay tickets to come watch free throws. I do no. too. How many times? I mean, you know, when we Bout see tickets. the ugly games, I always turn to Rose and I say, "How many times have we seen three consecutive possessions? Teams going up and down the court. You know, it was the thing. It was the thing that I noticed during FIFA." Remember when Jaron and them were playing? Yeah. You're watching those games, and it's like they don't even have timeouts in the same way. You know what I mean? They're not taking, like, all the TV, TV, TV timeouts. Time out. no, they, and they, I'm like, they run through it. You, you feel like you're watching so much basketball. Mm-hmm. It doesn't stop. You know, they, and they've outlawed, yeah. like, the take fouls and, like, all of these things. And it's like, I do think it is a – more digestible product. Yes. When I was watching FIBA, you guys remember, I'd come in here over the summer, I'm like, man, I love watching these games. The game's over yeah. like an hour 15. It really is. Yeah, the game's quick and easy. And they're just flying up and down the court. And so I actually <coughs> think, I don't, I, I think that there's a lot of people going, oh, the NBA just, you know, was mad about the no defense thing. It might just be a function of not that they were mad about the no defense thing. The game's taking too long. Yes. Again, you're doing all of these things in honor of we're negotiating the biggest national television deal that this enterprise has ever had. All of these things are done for TV. Make no mistake, like but Donovan like, Mitchell's not going to be all NBA this year because he's not going to play 65 games because of TV. Nobody really gives a shit if, if somebody sits out of Memphis Charlotte game. No. But when John ja Morant sits out a TNT game, that matters. And there were so many that that became the epidemic. And so now you've got the, I feel like over and over, like, yeah, they didn't go and announce to everybody, hey, call the games differently. But all of these things that we see and then people seeing these trends and whatever, it's all in honor of the TV product. The reason they want the stars to play and put a hard cap on how many games you've got to play and how many minutes you've got to play is because they wanted guys to play. Yeah, and that's because of TV. Yeah, but you need stars to play for TV. You don't want them injured either. No, I understand. Well, yeah. But I'm fouls. telling you that's why they wanted – that's why they – no, and look, everything has a downside. Everything. Look, I mean, no one's gonna like break their neck like off a foul. Like. Yeah, right. No, but I'm <laughs> as, We're talking about a hack on an. No, like, you if can, you like okay, slap their hand, you get away with a foul. You continue to foul. Your foul gets harder. If I'm if I'm hand checking you all game, they're not calling it. Eventually, I'm like hand checking you. You know welcome, what I mean? Like, I got away with a little one. I'm getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So like I, fouls are gonna get called. Yeah, but I don't. But I, I mean, honestly, I don't think anybody has. We are so far from anybody thinking it's out of control. You know, mm-hmm. I, I heard, uh, you know, the other day I brought up the example when Bill Simmons was talking about it. What you're not seeing now that you did see before the All-Star break was, think about it, like there's two, me and you are driving parallel down a street, right? Mm-hmm. And now I've got, I've got the car on the right. And I veer into your lane and I, I hit you. And then I bounce off of it, right? 
Now, you would say, that's my fault, right? In the NBA, that was your fault. <laughs> Until now. Now, you're not getting that call. It's all the bullshit is what they've taken yeah. away. It's not, yeah, like it's, the it's not Dylan Brooks slapping somebody on, upside the head. No. By the way, your favorite player is going to – He's going to benefit the most. He's going to thrive. He can beat the shit <laughs> out of people, yeah, yeah. and the rest won't call a damn well, thing. We may need to trade back for him, right? <laughs> yeah. Vince Vince get him back. Hey, Vince doesn't know, so we're good. Yeah, right. Vince, Vince does pester the hell out of people. But I know. I do think that, like, I think it's not necessarily – it's – it's one of the things that has taken place because of them trying to make the product more TV fan friendly, right? Well, somebody People want to the... see action. People want to see basketball. They don't want to see challenges. They don't want to see guys standing at the free throw line. I like a good they don't... challenge. Huh? I like a good challenge. No, you when don't. When Taylor walks out there and goes, yeah. Bro, By the way, so 77 funny. yesterday was not trying to give Taylor his challenge. What was that? Oh, head ass dude. Oh, and then they, and and then they just was. gave them the ball out of bounds. Yeah. Well, you know what it was? What? He wouldn't let him challenge because he insinuated that because John Conchar held the ball, he was giving the bench time to review it. Yes. So and they he, got a delay of game because John held the ball, giving the bench time to review it. So they're like, we're not giving you that. Uh, he was like, no, we're not giving you the time out. We're not giving you the time out. Just that's, do a, it. that's a Jokic thing. Jokic, tie, he ties his shoes. Jokic ties his shoes. Jokic, like, when he thinks they're going to challenge, he, he, he goes down and, like, actually gets well, on John Conchar. Hey, we need our players to learn some, some tactics. But, yeah, yeah that number 77 like, guy was on one yesterday. They won by he, double digits in Miami last night, and he only took eight shots. <laughs> Jokic? Yes. Jokic, took Jonah Jokic, eight shots, and they won by double digits in Miami. I mean, we, we, we won with Trey Jefferson taking only 10. By the way, uh, I, 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 sent a, I sent a tease and peas to Joe Murphy uh, last night after he, he caught that joint in the middle. One dribble, half hook. I was like, Joe, are you okay? Bro, that ball went No, f- dude. <laughs> that joint went flying. Last night, the worst shot, one of the oh, top five worst it. shots no, in Grizzlies history took Were place. You in the chat? Winning Gabriel oh. sidestep. Oh, no. What, what did that happen? Bro, he missed the play goal by ten, he, in the first quarter. Can y'all play it? I, he, was, I didn't see it. He missed a goal by 10 feet. <coughs> I yelled, Devin, what the hell? <coughs> I know you're on a 10-day, bro, but this is not your there game. You this is not your game. It, it, oh, oh, leave Cook. Come on, bro. Bloop. This is not your game. <laughs> <laughs> Dev, Wait, where, was where was that when that happened? Dev, that but, seriously uh, went over the goal by like six, seven feet. It did. It was this, like bad. That's, that's not your game, Winion. He shot it to the other block. To the <laughs> other, low block, the other, the other block. To the other low block. No, not, hey, no backboard, no rim, no nothing. Not a. Just off. <laughs> Just off. <laughs> Just seven, he held the butt too long. <laughs> seven feet off the target. A nice I've never seen fly. something like that. He set poor Jake up. Oh my God. That's, that's, oh my God. All tough. right. Let's take a quick break. We'll come back. We'll play Phil the Blank. Chris Varnish. Yeah. Anticipate each challenge. Make a quick response. Capitalize on every opportunity and win. Greatness won't wait. It's true in basketball. It's true in banking. Grizzlies checking from Pinnacle. Play hard. Bank easy. Open a Grizzlies checking account with at least $100 and a recurring direct deposit by April 30th. And you could receive a $200 direct deposit bonus into your account. Details at grizzliesbanking.com. Member FDIC. Life Care Ambulance is proud to be an official partner of the Memphis Grizzlies and FedEx Forum. At Life Care, they wear their hearts with pride. Their passion is their people. They want you to love what you do and where you do it. Their employee-driven culture encourages a healthy work-life balance and supportive work environment. They invest in your success and well-being so that you can provide the best care for the patients that they serve. Join the incredible team of EMTs and paramedics in Memphis, Nashville, and across the nation today. Learn more at lifecareamb.com. It's more fun to be there live to see the Memphis Grizzlies hit the court all season long. From the electricity and FedEx Forum to the highlight reel plays, there's nothing quite like Grizzlies basketball. As the official marketplace of the Memphis Grizzlies, Ticketmaster gets you in with a huge selection of seats. So get off the couch and into the stands while you still can. Score tickets today at Ticketmaster.com. That's Ticketmaster.com. 
Today, we have two very special guests on our program, introducing Lem hey. and Lime. Hello. For Starry Lemon Lime Soda. Thanks for having us. What is Starry Lemon Lime Soda? It's a crisp, clear burst of lemon lime flavor, and it's caffeine-free. Between us, one of you must be a little more important to Starry than the other. Who is it? We're both important. So we could just as easily be Starry Lime Lemon Soda. No, that doesn't sound right. Oh, I like it. So you saying hip-hop could be hop hip. Works for me. Starry Lemon Lime Soda. Starry hits different. We know there's only one team you want to watch, and Bally Sports is the place to get your Grizzlies. Experience the comebacks, the buzzer beaters, the can't-miss Memphis-made moments live. Bally Sports keeps the grind going before and after the game, too, with Pete, Brevin, Fish, and Chris on Grizzlies Live. Watch Grizzlies basketball all season long with Bally Sports and streaming on the Bally Sports app. Bally Sports, home of the only team you want to watch. Elevate your hotel experience in the heart of downtown Memphis at the Westin Memphis Beale Street. Our AAA Four Diamond Hotel boasts spacious guest rooms and suites, refreshed meeting space, upscale dining, and more. Just steps away from the sights and sounds of Beale Street, FedEx Forum, and the Memphis Rock and Soul Museum. After a full day of work or play, retreat to your hotel room or suite featuring luxury bedding, a contemporary bathroom, a spacious workstation, complimentary coffee, and a flat screen TV. During downtime, you can take advantage of perks such as our on-site fitness center, 24-hour business center and upscale dining at Penny's Nitty Gritty. On your next visit to downtown Memphis, make the Westin Memphis Beale Street Hotel your home away from home. Now for a limited time, the new $1.99 Crispy Tender Wraps are here at Sonic. Who could deny a crispy chicken tender with bold flavors like hickory barbecue and cheesy Baja? And we can't forget the crisp lettuce and melty cheese to make the perfect bite. Wrap yourself up with some TLC, tender, love, and chicken for only $1.99. Sonic $1.99 Crispy Tender Wraps. Tax not included, limited time only at participating Sonic drive-ins. Do you think Travis Kelsey ever sits there and goes, this is wild. Can you imagine from just being, you imagine from going from just somebody who listens to Taylor Swift's music, like like the rest of us, yeah. to like, she comes over to your house and like watches TV with you. Isn't that crazy? It's pretty cool. Wouldn't that be crazy? I'd what, love that. What do you think they watch? Oh, The Crown. The Gary Parish Show, live weekdays at 10 a.m. on YouTube at Grind City Media and the official Grind City Media app. Vince Williams is going to go to All-Star Weekend. Now, what a great thing for him. Kudos to, to Vince Williams Jr. You know, um, he was an injury replacement on the Panini Rising Stars. He'll get a chance to be part of the All-Star Weekend Showcase. Hey, Grizzlies fans, be sure to tune in to Grizzby, where the panel and I break down all things Grizzlies and take a look at the rest of the NBA as well. The show is live every Wednesday, 2 p.m. on YouTube at Grind City Media and the official Grind City Media app. Welcome back to the Chris Vernon Show on YouTube at Grind City Media and the official Grind City Media app presented by Caesar Sportsbook. Now, yeah. back to your host, Chris hey. Vernon. At the jungle, man, we at the mud. Play. Keep it moving, man, we on the run. Hey, Benny struggle, but we ain't done. Yeah, Benny struggle, but we overcome. Hey, at the jungle, man, we at the mud. Play. Keep it moving, man, we on the run. Keep on swinging, never know when we gon' land, right? Hit you with the left, up a cut, say goodnight on the canvas. You not know who the man is. Everybody All right, we're back. Chris Vernon, show! Uh, Memphis Tigers going to be playing Wichita State today. Go get that Caesar Sportsbook app. You can go to your app store. You can type in Caesar Sportsbook, and you can download it for free, and you can use it legally in the state of Tennessee. New users get up to $1,000 back as a bonus bet if you lose your first wager. Using the code GCM1000, GCM1000. Caesar Sportsbook. So I told you Ken Palm has it, what, seven? What's the line? Uh, no, it's fine. I was distracted by Antonio Brown's Twitter. Oh, God. <laughs> CTESPN or whatever he the, calls it. The Raptors seven? Mine, no, eight and a half, Tigers. Eight and a half? Yeah. Oh, wow. So All right. right. The Belta Ass Tour begins Vegas, today. Vegas likes the Tigers a little bit more than Ken Pomeroy's computer. 
But what did what did Antonio Brown do? Yeah, it's, oh no, no it's, it's from not. 16 hours ago. It's popping up on my top. A Daily Loud Sweat said you can only take one home. Who are you choosing? And it's like sexy red, ice spice, and then two other girls. Antonio Brown. <laughs> He's out of control. Out of yeah. Well, He's yeah. out of control. <laughs> Antonio Brown is out of control. Let's play fill in the blank. I love fill in the blank. We know. <laughs> It's time for fill in the blank. <coughs> Answers you can take to the bank. It's time for fill in the blank. Answers you can take to the bank. Oh, I got great it's ones today. Great blank. ones. First question. We're going to go see The Rock. Uh, me and Devin, we're talking about how excited we are for tomorrow night. Uh, the Rock is going to be back in Memphis. He keeps saying he's going back to his hometown, right? Yeah, uh, home. It'd be very, very difficult to find anybody I'd be more excited to see. If you could see anyone in person at FedEx Forum, whether it means they show up at a Grizzly game or anything, you could see any, I, any person in the world shows up to FedEx Forum. You would choose... Fill in the blank, sucker. Anybody like, do world. I get to meet him? Yeah, anyone shows up. Rihanna. No, no, you're gonna no, you're gonna go see him. You'd be most excited to see them. Rihanna, oh. Rihanna, Rihanna, Rihanna. Kanye. Rihanna. You really would. You know he'd be wearing like a mask and <laughs> wouldn't even like. He wouldn't even say. Mm. I mean, I've seen him live too. You're like, Jordan, like, because I lived because I we like, talked we, about it yesterday. Did see about, Pippen yesterday about Scottie Pippen there, and I was like, how during the show I was like, eh, I probably wouldn't be that good. And then I wouldn't. It was really cool that he was there. there. And then when I was there, I was like. Bro, that would be pretty wild if I ran into Scottie Pippen because that's it's my childhood. That's right. Like, Jordan legend. would be, yeah. If Jordan was at a game and Jordan Michael was like, Jordan being in that game. suite behind us, I yes. would. I mean, it would be. I'd be like, lose your mind. Oh, the whole time I'd just be looking over my shoulder, like, dude, they're freaking Michael Jordan. Draw I think yeah. oh, yeah. that's yeah. what was crazy. Jordan. So I went to the third quarter and was sitting in the stands with one of my buddies and his kid, and I was in that section where uh, Scottie Pippen was in the suite, like on that same level. Every time Scottie Pippen Jr. did something awesome, everybody was turning around. Of course. To see his dad's yeah. reaction. Yeah, it was super that's cool. Cute. Yeah. It was cool. Yeah. Uh, so Michael Jordan, that's a good one. She says Rihanna. Who I'm you say, Dev? Rihanna. Uh I'll say like Beyonce. Beyonce. Just to see the time. just to see the Ooh. aura of Beyonce in real life. That'd be dope. It would be shocking too. Yeah. If she just like walked into a game. I mean, yeah. Especially against the Hornets. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> what is Beyonce doing in a Grizzlies Hornets game? Yeah, right. Okay, so I, I mentioned that there's all kinds of families and all kinds of people that are in town uh, for spring break that have been going to these last couple of games. That's been a common refrain when I talk to people, right? So it is spring break, though. We obviously have not been on spring break because we've had all these home games that are going on. In fact, my family went somewhere and I didn't get to go. I will buy you a plane ticket to anywhere... You leave today, you have to be back on Saturday. You That's would a choose. Lot of time, you, guys. In the blank, suckle. you leave this afternoon, you have to be back Saturday. Where am I going? Because we got a game on Saturday. I got to pick Thursday. where I want to go? Yeah. Thursday night, Friday night. You guys could go anywhere. I got two nights anyway. Two nights. <laughs> I don't think you could pick overseas, right? I, you went can't. To Remember, I, went to I know, for but two that's, it, that's too much. No, yeah. You said anywhere. I know. Is that what you would do? I mean, I'm You go to France? I already did oh. that for two days. Yeah. I go somewhere else. Damn. You leave today. It's freaking subject flex. But you're back Saturday. Look, you got to be back Saturday by game time. By 7 p.m. And I don't really. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'd do like a plane ticket somewhere. You have but to. That's the you, but you have to. I would just. You can't walk that's somewhere. That's the question, dumbass. <laughs> no, stop trying question. to take the question. The okay, question. can you fly me to like, I don't know, like Hot Springs or something? Because I'm only going to be going for like two days. Hot I ain't trying to go to like. <laughs> Hot Springs is I'm nasty. Not trying to, I'm not Hot trying to go to like Phoenix for two days and then turn back around Bro. and come back home. I'm not you, trying to go to Chicago for a day and a half and turn back around and come home. I'm not trying you to You said do that. I would go to Hot Springs. Why wouldn't you go to Vegas for two days? Direct Why not? flight? This man said, Yeah, hot I don't want to do that. I'd rather, if I'm going to go to those cities, I want to stay there for like three and four days. Three days just, compared to two. Oh my God. I want to go to Hot you Springs. You would rather turn down a free ticket to go anywhere than do it. You are a sense. loser. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really. 
Everybody said that's crazy. Yeah. Or he I said hot springs. If somebody is there, walked in here and said, "Guys, you telling me right here's now, your today. reward? You can pick anywhere in the world, and we'll buy you a direct flight. And you can go this afternoon, and you got to be back Saturday." I'm I would not you, go anywhere. I would stay home. <laughs> what? I would 100% percent would stay home. Bro. You're being serious. I know. Right I would 100 percent stay home. You're a wild boy. I would 100 percent just stay this home. This is your worst take. That's just might be your all time. This do is the that. worst take. You've you had, had a lot of bad takes, but this may be take this, yeah. this is a hall of fame worst take. Dude, I do not take. like to travel. I don't like traveling. That requires packing and unpacking. So don't pack. Then, Wear the clothes you have. You're yeah, there for three days. Wear the outfit three days, Roser. Your all star Carolina shirt. I wouldn't. I would rather go. I'd go to like. I'd want to go to like Hot Springs and just Stop chill. Stop saying Hot Springs. Like, Stop. Like, Stop. I don't know. Like some place that's like super relaxing. Oh, this man said, God. "I want to go to Hot Springs." Hot Springs. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. wild. Give me either like Dallas or like Phoenix. I gotta have a good time there for two days. I love those two places. Um, I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to Mexico. Mexico. Yeah, get a little all inclusive, like relax for two days and come back well rested for OKC. Very good. This man said hot spots. All right, <laughs> pull up pull up the standings. I don't want to fight. Pull up the standings, NBA standings. Okay. Playoff standings. Okay. As it okay. were. Okay. So you pretty much know the exact ten teams in both leagues, like nobody's or in both conferences. Okay. You can have. I'm taking Wemby off the board. He's off. You could choose one player from any non-playoff team. You would choose fill in the blank, sucker. Oh, uh, for to add to the Grizzlies roster? Yeah, no, there's no, yeah, but yeah, and obviously you cannot take a, a Grizzlies player. And I'm taking Wembayama off the board. But I'm taking Adam. And any player? Oh, this is this is easy. I guess I'm gonna live in a prison at a moment. But you're taking a, a Charlotte player. Give me Jalen Duran. Jalen Duran. Give me Jalen Duran. Over for uh, any, you wouldn't rather have him than Cade. No, I'm playing. You wouldn't team? even want him. You wouldn't rather have him than Ivy. I mean, put him, am I putting him on our team, or am I just having him? You just got him as a player. Oh, no, okay, never mind. My answer changes. Hold on. I thought I, thought I was adding to the Grizzlies roster. No, any player. All right, give me a second then. No Wemby. We're starting our team. Oh, Lamelo. You choose Lamelo. He's want, already made an All Star team. Yeah, I want Lamelo. He's already made an all-star team. Yeah, give me. I want Lamelo. Okay. So yeah. does Lowry Markkinen. I don't really want him. Okay. And I'm just adding him to a playoff team. No, no, no. You're starting Seattle. You're starting to, yeah, starting Seattle with one oh, of these non-playoff teams, okay. not these trash teams. One player mm. off any non-playoff team. And that's what you start your franchise with. Lowry Markkinen. No. <laughs> He's good. Uh, probably Cade. Cade Cunningham? Probably Cade. Of any of them. Good. Yeah. What do you say, Kyle? Hold on. I'm in between. <coughs> Just because he's a point guard. You'd rather have him than Lamelo? Yeah. I like the... the point guards matter. I like the kid from Portland. What's his Shaden. name? Shaden, what's his Sharp. last name? Shaden Sharp. Sharp. Oh, okay. What, you think I don't know who Shaden Sharp Shaden. is? Shaden. Okay, so I was, this might be dumb because we just watched and we didn't have a great game. Poku? No. <laughs> <laughs> the kid, the, the, the Michich guy last night who head. scored like 30 on us. I, I really like Brandon Miller. I know he didn't play ah, well last night. I, I like Brandon Miller too. I like Miller, I like Miller too. I but I, I think I... I actually yeah. don't hate that answer no. because, look, if you looked up in five years, is it totally it's possible Miller's the best of all of them? Not crazy. For sure, all. right? Not crazy. Really good. All right, what do you got, Kelsey? Okay. Okay. Kelsey, can I use your charger? Yes. I'll reach though. Brandon's plugged in. Um, you can unplug that. So Kate Middleton is missing. I'm sure you guys you know. I'm sure you know. Oh, know. I'm sure you don't care, We've but heard. she's missing. And people are freaking out. There's so much speculation. I know you guys aren't big Royals people. She's going to be at SmackDown tomorrow night. That'd Can't confirm. Sick, right? The Rock's bringing her out. That, that'd be insane. She's in Memphis. The one celebrity that you guys, like, actually care about, that if they went missing, you think you would actually notice, is? Fill in the blank, sucker. I mean, The Rock, I would notice for sure. Right, he's everywhere. I'm trying to think of any, yeah, but I'm trying to think of like a celebrity that, it would be somebody that I follow. It would have yeah, to, yeah, so yeah, that, somebody, somebody that I follow that like I have an awareness of like kind of 
what's they're, going on. If their with content them. just like disappeared. They just disappear. But like, you would have to be like, wait, I haven't heard from or haven't seen blank in a while. What the hell happened? Yeah, because I mean that did happen with like you know with Roser's hero Kanye West. <laughs> I mean that did happen. He just he's done went, that. He's, he's done, done several, several times. times. Several times. Away. He goes but away. Like, if somebody just went away. I mean, oh, Jenna said Kim K. I, yeah, there's no question that I would notice it. Yeah, yeah. They're just omnipresent. All of them are. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're everywhere. They really are. You can't be online and not see something about them. No. all the time. Yeah, they do the thing. They call the paparazzi ahead yes. of time. Like we're going to yes. be here. Mm-hmm. That's right. So, so they're sure just they omnipresent. Yeah, Truth you is. know everything they're doing all the time. Somebody that I'm trying to think of somebody I follow that I would like have a. Like, there's like oh, this. Dad said you. That's that so, if I was gone, so oh stop. There's, so there's like somebody like Bron count. That man was driving down the interstate after a loss last night. Listening well, we, to slow I feel jams. that. I felt that, bro. I do that shit all the time. Oh my god. Driving lonely down the road, listening to sad R and B music. That's after my you, bag. After you lost to the Kings four straight times. Yeah, get out my bag, Bron. That's tough. That's tough. Get out my bag. Um. Who is a celebrity that I... Somebody said Charles Barkley. That's a really good one. I'm trying to see if there's any celebrities on here. I'm trying to, like, scroll through, like, my Instagram or something that's, like, somebody that I have an awareness of, like, all the time, I feel like. but Because you're using somebody famous, like Kate Middleton. So, I mean, that if they were just gone, I would be like, hey, what happened to them? I'm probably bad about this because I get so wrapped up in so many things that I don't. There's probably people that have fallen off the grid <laughs> and I have not noticed. So. <laughs> so I'm saying, bro. If I'm being honest, so right? So one person that you would notice. I really don't be like tapped in that much with like a lot of celebrities. If John Morant disappeared, you would care. But that's that's why I said Braun, though. Okay. Braun's, Braun's my answer. Braun's a celeb. I feel like I follow Braun. Braun's, Braun's goaded. Yeah, I'm trying to scroll through here and see who I who I notice like daily. <laughs> I guess The Rock is probably. I mean, I'm, I know that sounds crazy because he's going to be here Mm-mm. tomorrow, but like, I would for sure notice. You're like, where? where he's just always rocking? around. That's why the yeah. it has to be somebody that famous. That's why the Kardashian thing works because it would just be like what. Like they were what do you mean she there. was gone? We're digging. Like, and if you're British, I mean, like, this chick is omnipresent. Mm-hmm. Elon so, Musk. That's a good one. If he just didn't just tweet anymore. Just omnipresent. Yeah. yeah, like Bezos, mm-hmm. you never really hear from nah. Bezos. That's but a good Elon one. Musk owns Twitter and he is on it every day. I feel like I never really see Elon every Musk day. on my TV. You don't see though. his tweets? Not on my TV. Oh my TL. God, I always do. But yeah. if you, yeah, and he's also just around. Yes. Like, you mm-hmm. hear about something with him. Yes. Mm-hmm. Whereas, like that, he's kind of like a, he's a like a tabloid guy as well. Yeah. Much like those others, you got to be a tabloid person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like somebody that's just always everybody's talking about. If you look at like entertainment headlines every day, you get, yeah, I mean you can find out what Kim K is eating for breakfast. Like it's just always. That's the way it is with Middleton. So those are the only people that would like truly apply in that way. All right. Next one. Do I get to do three or just two? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. If they're good. I like them. Okay. Um, <laughs> last night, NSYNC reunited for the first time since 2013. It was a surprise. No. Yes. You mean insane. They've been on stage together. Yeah, they have no, been on stage together. Yeah, they have. Okay. I thought they were like, what was that for? Like, two, two years ago, like, right? Like, they like, performed Oh, together. they performed. They performed. Justin, oh, okay. Justin was doing a concert, and then all of a sudden the curtains came back, and wow. NSYNC was there. And yeah, the like, last time was, what, 2013 VMAs? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I remember that. Where That's what J.C. Shazay still was trying to So where was this at? we had it. I it was just the like the videos were going. It cool was in LA. It was in LA. Oh. Timberlake did a free, did one of those free show things in LA. I uh, got yeah. Oh yeah. great! He what a great guy! Here. You get to wave a magic wand, okay, and you get a surprise reunion. Like you're at Blank's concert, and you get a surprise reunion of a musical group. The group that you would choose to reunite is fill in the oh, blank, sucker. Oh, uh, the White Stripes. I don't know. Yeah, you do. That song we were singing earlier. I'm going to Wichita. You've probably heard it, Kelsey. You know the White Stripes. You've probably heard that song. I saw them in concert, Jack and uh, and Meg White. I saw them, and they were unbelievable. 
Absolutely unbelievable. The white Let's stripes see. I loved. I'm trying to think of anybody. Wolf Mother. <laughs> they broke up. Um, yeah, I think I think the white stripes are probably the one I would pick. White stripes offhand. Uh I'm trying to think of a group that I really really mess with. Like an outcast. Ooh. Outcast would outcast. be yeah, good. They, they have gotten back together. I mean, they're not broken up. They just stopped. Not sure he oh, my, my might be pretty. Albums. I know. Mom <laughs> might be like pretty Ricky then. It's five in the morning. Oh I'm up having phones Do you with know, you. I see every once in a while people have gone to, uh, I want to say it's New Edition, yeah. I think. That they're going and seeing in Vegas, at like a residency, and say it's just unbelievable. Really? Bro, they yeah. packed the FedEx Forum like well, a year ago. I know we got to do this summer then. A year or two ago. They, s- they, they sold out the Forum. Yeah. New edition. I mean, all my like favorite groups, like the singers are dead. So. Well, it's a magic wand. They can't get back together. Yeah, they can't no, get back magic. together. Maybe you can. Wait, it brings somebody back to life? Sure, but I don't care. Oh, Nirvana. Yeah. Like, For sure. No, 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 no. <laughs> Foo Fighters guy just died too. So yeah, I, I, I saw him. Yeah. You saw Alice, him? Yeah, I saw Foo Fighters like three times. Uh, what about his three six mafia count? Like Alice in yes, Chains. That counts. That's but they're sick them coming back would be mafia? great. Mafia. The That's three of them are dead. Bring it's back. a magic wand. I yeah, said. bro. Bring back the. Yeah, if if like I can bring people back from the dead, like Biggie <laughs> the and Beatles. Tup- <laughs> yeah, like the Beatles, like Biggie and Tupac. Um, Jackson Five. Bro, Tup- that's not that's not a group though. Tupac may not be dead. Um, oh she said group. I did. That was the question. That's that's a, that's a question. A group. Right. All right. The Led Zeppelin. <laughs> Led okay. Zeppelin. Okay, my last one. God. Stupid national days. She's Tomorrow really about this is everything you think is wrong day. It's all about facts that you thought were right that turns out are actually false. One fact or thing that you always thought was right, but you learned that it isn't, is fill in the blank, sucker. I don't know. I'm always right. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. That I thought that was a fact. That I'm always right. Turns out I'm not. You remind you you really do in so oh. many ways remind me of my favorite movie, Princess Bride, uh, B- Prince Humperdinck. Unless I'm wrong, and I'm never wrong. <laughs> I, I, wait, you, so, you, said, you are freaking Prince Humperdinck. What's the question? There's a nickname. Write it down. Johnny, Johnny Humperdinck. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Unless I'm wrong, and I'm never wrong. <laughs> A fact that you thought was right, like for example, oh. gum does not take seven years to digest through your body. Yes, I, or right. like when you eat a watermelon, the seed does not like go in your body. <laughs> I know mine, and this is I think I blame my mom and them. Do you, did, when you're ever in the car with your parents and you turn the light on in the car, I can't see. <laughs> That's not true, you little bro. Liars. Yes, you can, bro. Turn that light <laughs> off. I can't see the road. Yes, you can. Oh, yeah. Yes, you can one. see the road. That was your parents just telling you. To yes. Get the light. Oh, that, that, I've actually got a good that's one a that's good just one. like this. <laughs> like you asshole. No, I've got a great one that is just like this. <laughs> My father, and I just learned it like a week ago. Oh, good. I'm not kidding. You can celebrate you. tomorrow. I have even used it with my kid. My father was a great and had a serious passion for fishing. He was a fisherman. Like from the time he was a child all the way to adulthood. My dad loved fishing, like loved it. And like was in Field and Stream magazine for, he'd go bass fishing, he loved bass fishing, right? My dad would take me out fishing just like every other dad. And I saw a video a couple weeks ago about how when you go fishing, you've got to be quiet so you don't scare the fish away. And I saw this video and it said, that's bullshit. (laughs) Your dad just wanted you to shut up. They just (laughs) wanted peace and quiet. Yeah. I'm like, what? No way. Every dad has told their kid. I told my kid. They <coughs> love the peace, and it's like the serenity and the peace they and quiet that you're sh- not talking. You he just wants talk. you to shut you the hell up. You can't talk. It. I'm like, is that? and so I don't know if that has just always been passed down 
from people that have also just always believed it? Great or one. if dads are always in on it and they do just want you to shut up. Well, that's because like the, I'm telling you, I told my kids because I believe it. <laughs> that's the, that's right? like the, uh, the dad bathroom thing. It's like it's They're like, like the fish don't get scared <laughs> from you talking, but I always yeah, thought right. that yeah, the fish are scared of you talking. Yes. That's amazing. Shh, shh, you can't shh, shh, be quiet. You were scared of the fish away. Right. The dads just unanimously wanted you to shut up. <laughs> yes. And so if you say that the <laughs> I was always under the impression my whole life. I went fishing with my dad when my dad was like fifty. And he's still telling me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if my dad believes that. I, in fact, I'm going to ask him. You need to ask I'm going to call. Uh, yes, I'm going to go over to his house tonight. If I'm going to be like, bro, true. do you know that fish are not scared of human voice? He's going to be like, I know. I just wanted you, he's, I just wanted you to he's shut like, up. Yeah, I actually the only don't. Time I, got quiet. I, I really don't know. I don't know. I saw a video the other day, and I'm like, this is. I felt like my whole life was a lie. I was like. I go fishing now with my kids when my father-in-law has a pond yeah. that's stocked. <laughs> and so when we go out to his house out in the country, we go fishing. And, my, and I've gone out with my kids, and it's always, shh, shh. No, that's funny. That's wild. Mm -hmm. Had you, you guys have heard that. Yeah, I've heard it. That yeah. it scares fish away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I, I saw a video saying it's bullshit. Like I said, it's just like my that mom. They do not, you're not scaring anything away from talking. And I don't know why I always believe that anyway. I guess when you think about it, like, what? They're not, they don't care. They're not listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, oh, get really. away. These guys are talking, fishing. There's humans. Like, and, uh, bro, parents, I don't know why. They was really getting over on us, no, bro. In between my mom telling me to turn the thing off and your dad that's telling funny. you to, they were getting over, for real. I'm in my 40s and I believe that <laughs> until last week. You gotta celebrate tomorrow. Tomorrow's so that's actually day a good one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a good one. Yeah. Rosie, did you have one? Not really. No. I just keep no. saying. I, mean, I, I hate stuff. Well, unless I'm wrong, <laughs> and yeah. I'm never wrong. I hate stuff. My name is John Roser. Yeah, I All just right. don't remember. I, I don't. I'm <laughs> sure. He says that hot springs is awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't think I've ever been to Hot Springs either. <laughs> I'm sure I've never I even mean, been. I mean, I like Hot Springs, but it's not. It's like, I'm not taking a plane there. I anywhere. can drive. Somebody said, if you give me two days anywhere. 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 Hot Springs. <laughs> I guess I'll just drive yeah. two days. I'm not trying to fly to, like, Vegas or Chicago for well, two days. to Vegas? Like, two hours? Yeah. yeah. Vegas, the flight is quick as hell, Rosa. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, because by the time I get my that. bag and I get my hotel, and get, <laughs> and get, that is exactly how it it's yeah. gonna be like 9 p.m. Then I lose a day. Then what do I do now? Yeah, and then I just gotta turn around and go back to the airport. Exactly. What I was even just, the point? Say, I want to go someplace that quiet. Like just You'd rather quiet. just sit in your apartment and watch your 18,000 year old fish. Yes, I would <laughs> go fishing. Go fishing. I would love that. I would go to my dad's houseboat, which my and stepmom fish. still has. I would go there and just. Fish. Yes. You could get. You could fly somewhere with a beautiful fishing. Yes. Like anywhere. You could go fly fishing, yeah. bro. I, I don't really care. Uh, I, I don't really care. I don't really care about that. Yeah. I hate if you tell me I'm going for a week, then yeah, I will. But if like, you're telling me, oh, I got to be back Saturday, no, it's something quick. Okay, Rosa. All right, I got mine. Uh, as you talked about, the celebrity game was last night. We had all fun watching it. Uh, trash. It was trash. Tony Allen, be better. Terrible GM. Verno, Kelsey, Roser. You're picking the celebrity game for next year. You get to pick one celebrity. But it has to have a Memphis tie. They but all have to, Of course, we have to have a Memphis tie. Right. The celebrity you pick for the game would be... Fill in the blank, I mean, sucker. Project Drake. Pat. Oh, Timberlake. No, I'm picking Drake. Oh, Timberlake used to play in Why? No, we can't. You can't pick Drake. Why? He's not Memphis. No, he, he doesn't have a Memphis tie. No, nope. screw that. Not anymore. He cancels that show. Anymore. Screw that guy. Not Exiled. Can Drake Exiled. come to Memphis? Hell no. Hell no. That's Exiled. my pick. We smoking that Drake pack. Exiled. Project that champagne pack. poppy pack. Project Pack, because he's like 6'6". Six, six. Project Pack, though. Yeah. Project mm. Pack is 6'6"? Six, six? He's tall. <laughs> yeah. Project uh, Pack is a big dude. Yeah, he is tall as hell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Timberlake. I'd say Timberlake. I mean, he, he's the biggest celebrity that we could get. Yeah. Drake. No. No. He's exiled. He, he's exiled. We don't even yeah, We don't him. want him here. We don't count him. <laughs> he, might he ain't allowed here. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Drake's is. son. Adonis? Adonis. Yeah, I've seen him hoop. 
Don't talk to my man my, like my, that. My, my, my man. My, 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 my <laughs> Ain't man. like four years old. <laughs> yeah. Never no. mind. I'm Why don't you just bring Deuce Tatum? Yeah, no, right? They have like no, a Memphis time. Has yeah. anybody? Yeah. I know. Uh, yeah. Oh, his, well, his step grandma lives here. His dad. You? His dad played AA. His his dad Jason played AAU for the he, Bellevue War Eagles, and he also comes here every summer to yeah. practice at Penny's gym. Yeah. So you want Deuce Tatum to play in it? I'm kidding. I'm just joking because Deuce Tatum somehow <laughs> on my Instagram feed every yeah. day. I'd rather take he, a Deuce, and he's not even good. I could say because I've got kids. <laughs> Saying like a five year old is not good is crazy. That is wild. We're talking it's about a five year old playing he's not, basketball. He's not even that good. He's not even good. <laughs> Trash. Grow up. You're Jazz Jason Tatum. Why do you suck? Kid ain't got game. I'm just telling you, I get. I, I, I see an inordinate amount of videos of a kid that's not impressing me. <laughs> Grow and trust up, me, kid. I've spent years being unimpressed by kids. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> I know what it looks like. I respect it. I respect it. Right, I'm like, if a kid, if there's like a five year old dry, drained in threes and stuff, I'm like, Jesus, that's amazing. Yeah, he ain't really draining threes. No, he's just, he's got a famous dad. Yeah, dribbling on the court. That's and all. Shit. Yeah. Not really making the buckets. <laughs> and, and, then, and then it'll be like these, you know, these friggin' internet nerds are like, Deuce Tatum's gonna be a problem. <laughs> Who would you rather have for the next 10 years, Cooper Flag <laughs> or Deuce Tatum? <laughs> What? Deuce. <laughs> okay. Deuce okay. Tatum gonna be a problem. Yeah, yeah right. that's wild. Yeah. That's wild. And then it'll just be him, like. <laughs> <laughs> One hit, and then it'll like, be he's gonna be a problem. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's not that impressive. That's not that impressive. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like he's spinning the ball on his finger right. no. like a globetrotter. He just dribbling. <laughs> Shooting on a little tight suit. Yeah. All right, my next one. Uh, if y'all saw, saw LeBron yesterday driving down the dirt road. Dark row, listening to R&B music, looking very depressed. I think LeBron is the biggest capper of all time. The biggest capper of all time is fill in the blank, sucker. His he's, name is Le Cap, isn't it? He's yeah. up there. I mean, yeah, he, he has is, to be up he there. He is up there. Oh yeah, that's he's the biggest liar of all time, LeBron James. I mean, uh, any politician, he's, he's <laughs> world class. Yeah, like truly world class though. Yeah, he is because he just. I mean, he says he reads <laughs> books and watches movies. He's on the like first page of the non- yeah. Yeah. Like, not, so even not even things that matter. <laughs> I predicted Kobe's 81 point game. Yeah, Just, like, my, that's my favorite saying. That's my favorite saying. But it like, would be a lot funnier if, like, when you have the book, like the Malcolm X book, and they ask you, what do you think? If you just said, yeah, the book like matched my outfit. So yeah. that's why I have it, but I'm not really reading it. He takes it. himself so seriously. Yeah. Yeah. The, wrong, the, wrong. Uh, the, goat of, the goat of line. Let me think. Uh, Every politician. Oh, yeah, <laughs> politicians. Or, or, Every politician. Like, yeah, like somebody. Oh, like Raphael Palmero. <laughs> somebody <laughs> that got in front of Congress and still lied. Right. Like those guys are amazing. <laughs> yeah. Oh somebody gosh, said Meek Mill. Lance Armstrong. Like Barry Bonds just refused. Like he was like, yeah, yeah I'm just not going to say anything. Oh, Lance Armstrong like, was amazing. I mean, uh, he yeah. Was a high quality liar. Dude, he has up when I, put, I just typed in famous liars. Dude, his book was incredible. Lance Armstrong I read became his book like a in billionaire college. off it. It's not about the bike. I mean, it's crazy. Uh, have you seen that 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 influencer that's like being canceled? The guy that's like become this celebrity. Uh, you know, said he's like a monk or whatever. Jay Shetty. He's gotten super famous. You would know if you Google him. You'll have seen the guy on social media. But it's been this whole catastrophe. Like some of the old Oprah. Oh, guys. I know who that is. Yeah. I mean, like I don't like I no, don't but know it's him, a, he's but been can, he's been canceled for what they packed him up. Uh, D lied about a bunch of crap. The from monkey his sold past an unholy business. Yeah, Damn. uncovering the higher truth of Jay Shetty. He's out here just capping, huh? Oh, yeah, wow. right. Tough scene. All right, I got one more for y'all. Yeah, go ahead. Because I knew how new hair, guys. My my, I have a new hairstyle for y'all. The one hairstyle, the craziest hairstyle you will wear in public would be fill in the blank, sucker. That I would wear in public. Yeah. I mean, I'd, yeah, I can I, grow I a rat do, tail. I, I would do. I would what? wear. I would wear whatever. I, I, you have no I, shame. I, yeah, there's no. Like, yeah, I can grow a mullet. I, I mean, bro, our our promo photo is because I got a bad haircut, and so I I shaved my head the day before they took those pictures. Oh my yeah. gosh! And then they said they were taking pictures, and I was like, oh crap! Oh, yeah. That's why my head shaved. Yeah, I had gotten a that. horrible haircut. And I was so frustrated that I just shaved Would it you all wear off. No. 
Do you care about the cornrows? I, I just look so stupid. Jerry curl? So I guess I, I, I guess there are some crazy. that I wouldn't do, but like in terms of, you know, white guy's hair. I mean, what's the worst thing that could I, I Yeah, I'm trying to think. Long hair? I don't know what y'all's hair can really mohawk? do. Mohawk? Yeah, I'd wear a mohawk. Not a faux hawk, like a mohawk. Like, like shaved Like a sides. real, like, grungy mohawk. I mean, am bro. I doing this just to be funny? I don't like, know. No, for the, fun? the most ridiculous hairstyle. You that know, like, I would wear? That you would wear like, in public. Regularly? Yeah. That you can wear in, you wear in public, yeah. Like one time? Or like, that's my look? That's your look. That's your bag. Yeah, I wouldn't. I couldn't do that. I would. I, it would not be because I would be. I mean, I wouldn't be ashamed to do anything, but I just couldn't because, like, they're not. They they would say something to me about the stupid Valley Show. Oh, like, bro, yeah. you can't come on here on a mohawk. He's got a suit and a mohawk. I also don't think that's something like white guys do. Yeah, mohawk. What, mohawk? Ex- no, that's I'm saying like change, just change their hairstyles. Oh yeah, unless, y'all, you're, y'all like, really unless you're like Machine Gun Kelly. Y'all really don't change like, our hairstyles. Machine Gun Kelly that much. does. But I know like, that, now like, that I thought about it, y'all really don't change no, our hairstyles we don't. that much. We don't. Mine's, just, mine's either shorter or it's, longer. It might yeah. be us or us. But that's we really just because like, you don't get a haircut. That's, that's right. not because you like choose. Like, that's right. That's we really get in our bags. And like, then we'll in like the a, summer, I shave it usually. Yeah. I usually shave my head in the summer. When, really, it, get, when it gets with Memphis, a thousand degrees. Yeah. It's so hot. I'll just shave it off so I don't have to think about it and because I'm going to sweat so much. Somebody yeah. said, we're the Dustin Star hairstyle. <laughs> Shout out Five Star, man. The Pompadour. Yeah, the Pompadour. The Johnny Bravo. Johnny Bravo. All right, go quick, Roser. Uh, all right, The Rock, tomorrow night, The Rock will... Fill in the blank, sucker. Make this place go insane. It can be anything. M- make a girl throw her drawers in the ring. Any prediction that will happen tomorrow night. M- make a woman throw her drawers in the ring. When The Rock hits the oh. squared circle inside FedEx Forum, WWE SmackDown tomorrow night. I will say... Pull everybody in like he loves Memphis and then crap all over. Oh, it. yes. I'm so happy and to be it's home. It's going to be so funny. Yes. Flex Cavana's back. Finally, I'm back in Memphis, whatever. And then he'll be oh, like, no. what the hell happened to this place? <laughs> yes. I, I thought it was terrible in the 80s. It's worse now. Oh, yeah. Because like, yeah. yeah. he's a heel. He's a he's heel. A heel. He's a I'm guy. hopeful. I will be so disappointed. If he doesn't say something. No, and I bet he does the. And, and he'll grab a guitar and do Heartbreak so, Hotel and sing along to it. So that's. That's what the I was going to say. He'll he do will the do, Elvis thing. He'll do the yes. SmackDown Hotel. He's done yes. that before here. Um, so they said he, the, he's teased to do that. He's like slated yes. to do that. Do the guitar thing back. Yeah. And he's going to slander us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's Call a massive fat, Elvis fan. Ugly. And, oh, no. Yeah. I love all that. Oh, I love it when they do that. The bad guy stuff? Yes. Yeah. I love the bad guy stuff. <laughs> I love when they talk about how terrible everything yes. is and how... <laughs> You fat lardos yes. in the front row. How lucky you are Lardo's to be here in my presence. Yeah. <laughs> Been eating too much barbecue and sitting on your oh, fat bones. I, I, I watch those old. I watch the best like heel ones. I watch those videos on YouTube because I just think it's so damn funny. Like when Rick Rude, ravishing Rick Rude, will go. Now it's time oh, for yeah. all you inner city sweat hogs. Damn. To see what a real man looks like, and he'll take off his robe and start flexing, and everybody's like, <laughs> "Shout out to the heels, man!" <laughs> so funny. Yeah, Shots. that's what he's got to do, though. I hope the R.I.P. Rock. Rick Rude. By yeah, the way, R- R.I.P. Rick Rude. Shout I hope. To the I hope. It's like ninety percent of wrestlers. <laughs> R.I.P. No. R.I.P. For sure. You got any more or no? Uh, yeah, so we talked about how yesterday with Gary on that we'd like to see Kelvin. It'd be cool if Kelvin Sampson yep. like, won, won a title. And Gary said also Matt Painter. A coach, but it can't be from one of your favorite teams, from one of the teams you root for, that you would like to see any sport win a championship is... Oh, any blank. sport. Okay. Okay. Can't be one of my teams. Yeah. And your coach has already won one, actually. So you're an NFL coach. Shut up. <laughs> well, he has. Mine hasn't. He just is amazing at losing them. Uh, I don't really root for uh, I'm going to go Dwayne Casey because it's the only coach that I uh, know the name of. Shout out Dwayne Casey. Yeah. He's, got he's fired got, after one He's coach got one year. as an assistant. Does he? Dallas. Where? Mavericks. Oh, really? Yeah. Would you look at that? The redemption story would be like Doc. 
No one, yeah. he is like he's the Mickel. He's the Phil Mickelson. He's the A. Right. He's the guy that cannot get it done. Mm. Right. Like he is looked at as the guy that can't get it done. What's Doc and without blows three-one leads? But he's, he's already right got now. his with Boston, so it doesn't yeah. really count. But it, it people do not view him as a NBA title coach. No. Mm-hmm. Because of everything that's happened with the Clippers. And oh, then good one, Darnell. Obviously, Philly after that. Neil who, Ivy. Notre Neil Dame. Ivy's mine. I like that Yo, one. That's a, such cap for you guys. That's not cap. Come on. You didn't even think of it until somebody brought it up. That's actually a really good one. But you didn't even think of it. I said I it was a good answer for him. I didn't say I'm taking it. See, who I want to see win the championship? Why don't you want Neil Ivy to win? Oh, my <laughs> God. Well, let's see. Let's can I pick Norvell? Yeah. Actually, yeah, Mike that's, Norvell. That's a really good one. That's too. a good one. Yeah. You can pick Norvell. Too. Mike Norvell. I would be most happy for him. Because I really don't give a damn about him. Because I know it. him. Yeah. Right. So it'd have to be like somebody I know. Yeah. Like actually. Norvell's a good one. Norvell. But we root for, uh, we root for Florida State, though, right? Yeah, yeah, but it's not. They're not. It, it, you're Memphis. It's not like Memphis. Oh, yeah. Okay, I got you. We're going to do it this year, or do we not? I can't decide. Tallahassee, hell yeah. Tallahassee, I can't can decide, though, if we want to do that one. It's very difficult. Right. Get to Tallahassee? Tallahassee, man. No, I'm talking about, I think it puts us in a very weird spot. Because we're going to have to pack to go to Tallahassee? No. No, what do we wear, Memphis or Florida State? Stuff? No, because it's like we can't really root for Florida State. Oh, yeah, that's true. Right? But we want to go and do all the Florida State stuff. Yeah. And toured it all, and see, you know what I mean. Like we would get the red carpet rolled out for us. But to then go we down cheer there, for Memphis. But we can't go. To, uh, you know, and and also we'll, we're going to get <coughs> killed. That, that makes it easy for us. No, that's not. That's not good though. I don't want to go and watch Memphis get killed. They might not get killed. Yeah, Flo- bet? He's, repl- <laughs> he's replacing a lot, man. Norvell is. He's and got a lot. You know to who's replace. bringing back a lot, Roser? Well, dude, we're not going to win. That would be the craziest Ryan thing Silver ever, though. That would, hey, you never know. You never know. You never know. And Memphis could be good next year. I think it'll be really, really right. good, bro. All right, that's going to do it for today's show. Thanks to Kelsey Ray Jonathan. Thanks to Devin Walker. Thanks to John Rose across the glass. Thanks to Jacob back in the studio. We will be back tomorrow. Until then, we go.